Good morning everyone. Well, my name is Karen McFarland and welcome to our kitchen here, Sugar and Crumbs. So I hope you're going to enjoy today's live. Today we're just going to make basic vintage cupcakes, just the fun way, so not the professional way. This is just us playing in the kitchen. This is all for you home bakers, hobby bakers who've never done anything like this, just to get your tools out and let's have a little play. And just some easy ways. The, the harder vintage ones, the more, the more perfect ones we can get onto, and I've still got to learn that yet, anyhow. So in the kitchen today, I've got Simon. Hi, Simon. Hi, Carol. Hi, and, everyone. Thank you Simon's for joining full us. Of the beans now. We walked in originally not full of the beans, but we've had a chat, and you're now full of the beans now, Simon, oh, aren't you? Carol, I think you'd... <laughs> <laughs> you just love being mean to me. <laughs> He's full of the beans now, is Simon. <laughs> so we very, was very stressed, because it seems that we've had a microphone plugged in for three years that's never worked. We thought it would work, so he came here, really chuffed with himself with his new um equipment for up there plugged it all in it still didn't work so it's broken uh, yes yeah, it's, it's broken, broken so. microphone so it was completely pointless we've carried this microphone around with us for three and a half years and it was totally unnecessary so anyhow here we go um so karen we've got you in the kitchen today hello i'll get out of the way come and say hello karen our friendly assistant. hi guys <laughs> oops did you hate yourself then <laughs> So Karen is back with us in the kitchen and she's helping out. She's going to be here in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen every day, five days a week with us. And what Karen's role is, is helping me prepare for Facebook Lives and also do another job. So she's going to be learning some new things to do on the website. And uh, you're dead excited about that, aren't you? <laughs> you're going to learn how to use a Mac computer. <laughs> feel Simon already laughing and, um, and but basically she's going to be a big help here in the kitchen she's also going to do her own live so on Friday instead of me doing the live on Friday morning at half past 11 it will be Karen and I'm going to be her Joey so I'll be the one doing the washing up making the brews cleaning up and going yes Karen no Karen three bags full Karen you're going to enjoy every moment aren't you <laughs> what do you make of that Simon <laughs> Amazing. How many brews are you going to ask me for? Oh. <laughs> so um, get everybody lined up. One an hour. As well. One an hour. One an hour. Anyway. Yeah. Right. So, um, how's our audience growing, Simon? Uh, yeah, we're just about to hit 100. So. Fantastic. And hello, YouTubers. I presume that we're connected with YouTube as well. So, um, what else was I going to say to you? Um, I forgot what's happening this week. So, uh, Danielle did a fantastic live last night. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed it. She did three bakes in the kitchen. Amazing. She flipped them out in one and a half hours. I was well chuffed. So, if you didn't see last night's live, go and see Danielle. She's actually always in our kitchen once a month, but because of the way things are, I'm having to go live direct from her kitchen. And um, she did a, and a great live. Fantastic. So, if you missed it, go and have a watch. Um, also, I'm in the kitchen today. Tomorrow, Tracy Mann is in the kitchen at half past 11. So instead of 11 o'clock, it will be half past 11 with Tracy Mann. On Friday at half past 11, we're going live with Karen. Um, and I'm in the kitchen tomorrow night. We haven't decided what I'm going to make tonight. We're having to think about it, aren't we? Yeah. So we're not quite sure that what I'm going to make tomorrow night. It could just be you and John. Yes. That'd be interesting. Just me and John. Oh. <laughs> Unless you want to start the night shift as well, Simon. Bail John right out of it, because I think he'd be more than happy. <laughs> so, and then on Saturday, I'm actually on Cake Flicks. Now, Cake Flicks is um, a channel by Paul Bradford and David Bryce. And what they're doing is they've asked cakers to come on and do Facebook Lives on their channel every Saturday. It starts from, every, uh, from very early in the morning till very late. I think the last one's like 11 o'clock at night or something. And um, cakers are coming on from all over the world and doing a Facebook Live on their channel and it's great. I'm actually doing their live at 8 o'clock on Saturday night, the 18th of April. And I will be doing a dome cake. I think that's what was voted for yesterday, a dome cake. And so therefore I'll do the hedgehog cake next week. You're looking at me really funny. And then, um, so we're going to do that. And then next week we have my son on. He's going to show you how to make sourdough, sour, sourdough bread or sourdough. I say sourdough, but it's sourdough. Sourdough, yeah. Sourdough, isn't it? So my son is on. So I'll be on on Monday night. Um, and then I'm not sure if it's Danielle or my son Ryan on who'll be on on Tuesday night. I'll be in Wednesday morning. 
Tuesday, Tuesday morning, Wednesday morning. And then I've got Amy Coyle from Sweet Stamps coming over doing a live as well. So I'm hoping she's going to do next Thursday night for us. And then we're back on on Friday morning. So basically there's lots of things going on in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And anyway, I need to shut up now and let Simon shout out a few hellos. Karen's helping down here as well because we know that Simon hasn't got up to speed yet on doing cameras and reading all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Laura from Arkansas. <laughs> Arkansas, where's Arkansas? America. Right. Well, I've used up all my data, Carol. Have you? <laughs> Is that a plug that you'd like me to buy your data for you? Why well, not? no, that's that's the reason why I can't actually oh. get the stream anymore. Right. Because well, I can't use you... the Wi-Fi. Oh, you should plug into the Wi-Fi for your phone. Actually, that tells me. I don't know whether I've turned off the Wi-Fi off my computer. Anyhow, so have we seen these over the top, Simon? Uh, yes, we have right. seen them. Yes. So I don't know what we're actually going to make today, but this was just me playing in the kitchen last night. Karen did this one this morning, so I'm going to do that for you as well. Um, we've done a couple of these three were done this morning, and this was just playing. So I'm just going to go through a few of the moulds that we're going to use, and a few of the uh, we're going to get the cupcakes prepared basically. So let's get the toppings on, and then we'll start making all the little frilly bits as well. Um, so hopefully you're going to enjoy today's live. Um, I've also got some other things to ask you as well. Um, lots of you have asked me, will I make the cupcake bouquet live? I don't make it uh, live actually, um, because it's actually a class. Um, but I am thinking of doing an online tutorial. So if you're interested in doing an online tutorial, it's going to be on the 29th of April. I've already set up the group for it. It's called Carol's Cupcake Bouquet Class. Um, if you want to join it, it's £50, okay? I've not put all the information on there yet, and you can't join the group until you've paid your £50. But basically, it's a whole day session. Now, you can either, and there will be breaks, so there'll be, there'll be coffee breaks, there'll be lunch breaks, and uh, but we're going to do the whole thing. I am actually going to list up all the products that you need to buy if you're going to work with us on the day. But the good thing is you can either watch it through the day and then it's yours forever. You're in that group forever then, which means then you can go back and watch it at your leisure as and when you want. So we're actually going to show you how to make cupcake bouquets from um, a seven right up to a 30 plus. So if you're interested in that, you need to contact our contact page, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Contact Laura, tell her that you're interested and you want to join and she will take your £50 deposit off you. Once she's emailed me back to confirm, I'm going to send you an email then asking you to sign for your terms and conditions. Your terms and conditions will be that everything that you learn in the group stays in the group. It's not for you to share with anybody else, okay? Um, and I can talk to you, if you're a tutor or something like that, then yes, of course you can do classes, but again, they have to be private classes. So I hope you understand. It's not something you can post on the group and show people how you made it, okay? So if that's of interest to you, do let me know. So you just need to go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to info, and in there, just say, hi, Laura, I'd like to join the Cupcake Bouquet class. Give her your name and address and phone number, and then she can contact you then and tell you how to join up. Once she's done that, you can then apply to join the group, and then I'll enroll you on there, okay? And then you'll start seeing the group start to build up, and you'll start seeing me add things of all the bits that you'll need to buy before, if you want to go live with us on the day. So it is a full live on the day going together. So it's a full session. Simon's going to just love it, aren't you, Simon? I am looking forward to that. So he's going to be filming all day, and Karen is going to be my assistant. I am, and there's so, a couple of people interested already. Right, yeah. so uh, I think £50 a very fair price. It's actually a lot of hard work. We've got a lot of prep in the day before, we've got a lot of prepping on the day, and I've got a lot of paperwork to do before then as well. I'm actually going to put some bundles of stuff together, but I am going to tell you where to buy things from, what nozzles we're actually going to use as well. Um, and then after, after that group is done then, anything else I'll come in and chat and help out with. So it, it's a forever group, do you know what I mean? It'll always be there, you'll have it forever. So, but the strictest thing is, it's only for members. It must not be shared. You can show everybody afterwards what you've made, but you can't show anybody how you've made it, okay? So hopefully you like that. If you do, put your thumbs up, let us know, and it's £50, and you just need to go to the contact page and contact Laura. Yeah? Super. So let's get on with our day. So we're going to make some, um, so we've got our cupcakes. Uh, we're going to use Sweet Success cupcakes today, and uh, we're just going to make some toppers. Isn't it lovely hearing the birds? 
Do you know, everything, every live I've listened to, there's birds, it's got the windows open. Even on Danielle's live last night, it was amazing because it was like late at night, it's eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, the birds were tweeting away. It's so lovely, isn't it? So a couple of the moulds that I'm going to use is, I'm going to use Karen Davies moulds. I'm going to use these two for now. So these are great moulds, okay? So I'll pop them on the overhead there. And then I'm just going to um, get some of the sugar paste. Now what I've done with this sugar paste is, it's um, 250 grams of sugar paste with a teaspoonful of Tylo in. Okay, now if I would want it a little bit softer, so I would use half a teaspoon, or best of all, use um, Karen Davies' own actual sugar paste. Um, she's got a great sugar paste. We've got uh, marshmallow flavor in, and we've got um, vanilla in. Also, uh, Renshaw Extra is actually quite good as well, so it's nice and soft. Don't use the, flo the florist paste. Okay, so um, this mold here, I can't remember which one this one's called actually, that's really bad. Um, Karen, can you just, if I, from our social distancing, can you go on Karen Daisy's and have a look yeah. at that, that one? Uh, Absolutely. So, uh, forget which one that's called. It should be on the screen now to see it. Pardon? Why have you found it? No, I mean, on your, if you're looking on the... <laughs> she's <laughs> going to she's the plummets. website. <laughs> on your camera <laughs> so we're going to finish off the cupcakes as well the rainbow cupcakes today so we're probably end up going over two hours so uh, but I'll, I'll try and get on as fast as I can so they're so easy this I'd already flowered these before but maybe I should just show you how to flower them actually so a little corn flour there you go just tap it in little corn flour pouch we sell them on our website as well all you need to do then is tap it out of the mold Simple as that, look, it's all out, and then you just pop, your, pop it in. So you can do the mould, you can do the jewel, sorry. Um, I think, is it called brooches, this one? I'm just, looking, I'm just nearly at it now. It's got the nice oval one in. So you can do it, so you can fill up the whole mould. Can you see in there, Simon? Yeah. So you can yep, fill up the whole mould. And it doesn't matter what colour paste we're going to use because we're going to spray them anyhow. So you can fill up the whole mould for that one. And so that gives you that brooch there. Or you could do a smaller one. So you just get a smaller bit of paste. It is the it's the vintage brooch. That's it, yeah. So can you can you see here, we're just going to fill up the centre there. So Simon, are you on the overhead? Yeah, I'm on the overhead. So we're just going to well. fill up the centre there. So where we've done the full one there, oh, those birds are very chatty. It's all the cake you keep giving them. I know, I've got a loaf of bread to give them today. <laughs> it's so bad, isn't it? <laughs> I've not been able to get a Tesco's online shop. And then on, um, what was it? I think it was on Sunday, I happened to go on the website and there was availability, I couldn't believe it. But I had two loaves of bread in there and obviously John's bought bread and I hadn't even thought about it. I just went, yeah, I want it. So now I've got to feed the birds a loaf of bread. So with any of the moulds, you can make them smaller. So you only have to do just a little bit if you want to. I'm going to spray these up afterwards. Or you can do the whole, the whole one. So I'm just going to make a few of these. So we'll get all our um, accessories for our cakes ready. So Karen, what do they all think about, actually you're looking for that um, image now, aren't you? What do they all think about the uh, cupcake bouquet class? They're all actually, yeah, there's a few people really interested. And uh, I've just answered one lady, she says, uh, will everything be available from Trouble and Crumb? And I yeah. said, we'll post the items required and you'll post the relevant links as well. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll let you know all the tools that I'm actually going to use and all the other bits as well. There's a couple of things that you might have to buy off Amazon or I can buy them in advance for you, but um, I can buy some bits. So the only thing is it's like tissue paper. I don't really want to buy the packs of tissue paper. I can't get it cheap enough. So you'd be best off buying that yourself really. But what I'll do is I'm working on that group at the moment, but if you, if you call Laura and you sign up for it, I can let you in on that group straight away and we can start talking about it and I can get your shopping list up. So the live will actually be a whole day event, okay? So you need to get your husbands ready with your sandwiches and your brews and everything else and we'll have everything to one side and then what we'll do is we'll stop for breaks through the day because I can't, I can't keep Simon's, uh, Simon and Karen going all day. You need a break, don't you love? 
Yeah, please. And I do mm. as well. <laughs> so um, anyhow, so there we go. So we'll just use that for now. Then we're going to use the bow mold, bow mold as well. Great mold this is. So in this mold, you get this larger bow, uh, and obviously medium, they go smaller. So this uh, six there, is it? Or is it five? Five. It is the just turn it the other way up, Carol. Oh yes, I forget we're on the overhead, aren't we? It is the brooch mold that the vintage brooch mold has a lot more. In it, so that's just the brooch mold. Yeah. So don't worry if you have to glue things together. So what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of paste on there. We're well, so looking at the 29th of April, aren't we? For the the date's course. going to be for the live. It's going to be a Wednesday, and it's the 29th of April. Now the reason I've chose that date is that I think it's highly, I mean, it's not for me to decide what the government's gonna decide, but I think it's highly unlikely we're gonna be back in work. And I just thought Wednesday is a really good day. You've got the weekend to yourself. You, you know what, it's a good day for you to practice and get it done. And then over the weekend then, you can make your own again. But what we'll do is, is that Karen and I are gonna be making bouquets on the Monday and Tuesday. So we're gonna be making them, having them all made up, ready for you to show you. And uh, I'll actually have all everything ready. So I'll have everything ready to, to show you each display. And then I think Karen and I will just go and give them out to the local, um, wherever we can give them to. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look at the, the, the uh, elder residence homes, yeah. folks' homes. Yeah, so we'll, we'll give them all away. But uh, what we'll do is we'll show, I'll have them all made up. We'll make them up in different colours as well and uh, different bouquet colours. And then I'll actually, I'll, we'll actually go through. We'll, on the day, we'll actually make a 12, uh, 12 bouquet and we'll make um, a 24 cupcake bouquet as well. So you'll have to be baking you lot. Um, I can get you sweet success cakes if you want to, but I think you'd be best off just ordering direct. Um, for what they cost, you know, you may be best off ordering direct yourself. If you want to buy them from me, I can order them in. But I just think, you know what, you may as well buy them direct from them. Or make your own buns, yeah? So I've just uh, done a bit of patchwork quilting on there. Because I was talking. So there we go. Right. So it's £50 that class. And as soon as you've paid, I'll enrol you into the group straight away. Right, okay, so we've got those there. So we've just got a couple of those. And then we're gonna use this. This is the Blossom Cutters. Now, a lot of you have got the Blossom Cutters already, but let me just get the uh, this here. So we don't wanna be chopping on my nice new board, do we? So, uh, got a couple already. I'm going to use this one. This one is the Petunia. I like this one, it's my favorite. And we do sell it as a, a multi set on its own so you can buy it in the full set are you on the overhead Simon or yeah. ahead so you can buy it as the full set okay so free mold 15 cutters and um, so you can buy it like that or you can buy just that set with the actual cutters or that set or that set there's there's loads of various ones but we're going to use this one we will make a couple of these and I think well in fact we might use that one as well actually oh actually we'll use this one that's what we'll use smaller it's a bit smaller isn't it yeah so we'll make a couple of these up so i showed you how to make these the other day so all we're going to do with these are so this is our paste with tylo in so if you want to use um flower florist paste uh renshaw is actually actually really very very good um, in the renshaw range it's called renshaw flower modeling paste and um, we also do the Squire's Kitchen as well, which is excellent. Um, you can use Saracino if you want to. Um, it's a bit softer, Saracino. Um, and I, I don't roll these out too, too thin either. And I'm going to get this one out as well. So I'm just going to mould this up. So you'll notice I've got another board on here. For chopping. So I'll roll this out nice and thin. Am I in the centre there for them to see, Simon? Yep. yep. You are now. Sorry. Okay. 
looking at pink. So. You're on shouting out comments. Right. Yeah, Duty. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, can I put that there? Will you just put that in the microwave for me, Mum? Yeah. So the thing is, when you put Tylo in, it firms up. So you may have to put it in the microwave. Uh, put it in for five second blasts. Give it a really good knead, then another five seconds and another five seconds. So um, I just want to do. Just going to roll this out. Just trying to see where I am on the camera. Where do I need to be here? Yeah. You can come a bit closer to you. That's great. So I'm just going to wait for Karen. Yeah. Brilliant. I'm just going to put that pink there in a minute. Thanks very much. I love playing with it when it's lovely and warm. It's nice, isn't it? So I'm just going to... It's only therapeutic. Eh? It's only therapeutic. Warm in your hands. So I'm just going to roll out this one. Just saves me a bit of time doing it this way, that's all. So let's cut these out. We've got a fair few people interested in your online course. Fantastic, good, yeah. that's what one. The thing is, I've had so many of you email me and ask me about it, and it's something that I've actually thought of for a while. And I just thought, no, you know what, I'll just do classes here. But I, I know loads of you just want to do it, and I just thought, you know what, this is a, a really good way to do it. And so many people are doing online classes. And uh, it works for me and you, doesn't it, Karen? Absolutely. So, uh, you know, we can... But these are those people who couldn't travel from further afield. They yeah. can now do it with you on the, on the day. And like disabled people as well, you know, who really struggle to get out at home and stuff like that. It means that they learn to do it. But uh, so, and I think it's a very fair price either as well. It's a whole day and it's yours forever to keep. So uh, unless you misbehave in the group, if you come in the group and misbehave in, but I'm sure none of you will. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the group, if you want to join it, but you can't join it until you pay. And that is called Carol's Cupcake Bouquet Class. Now, once you have paid, Laura will email you, email me and she'll give me your email address as well and I'll need to email you back and ask you to confirm some questions first. Once you've confirmed that, then I can actually let you join the group. Now, if you miss it on the day, so let's just say you've paid for the course and you actually miss it on the day, don't worry, it's there, it's live, it's all been filmed for you. So it's there in the group, it won't be posted to our group, it won't be on our page, it will only be in that group, okay? So you'll see it all there. So it just means, let's just say you're poorly or you're not well or you don't feel up to it or something else has happened that you've got to go out for, then it's still there. You can still follow it. You know, if you join late in the day, then you'll only see the second half of it. But, you know, if you want to just watch that, then you can come back and do the rest of it the following day. So let me just pull that off a minute. So I'm just cutting these out here. My John doesn't know about this, by the way. So he, probably he probably does now. Do you think he does now? <laughs> I've been thinking about it for a while. I only spoke to it with, I only confirmed it with uh, Laura, um, Karen, Karen, and Simon as Simon walked in through the door, and then um, and then I had to phone Laura and say, "Listen, if you get some phone calls, this is what it's about." Because normally I don't tell Laura anything. God bless her. She normally only finds out when the phone starts ringing. And they go, Carol says, and she goes, does she? What did Carol say? So, and I have to go, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you, Laura. So you see that we're just cutting out our shapes. And these are great to do at night time. You know, I'll just get these prepared at night time in advance. It's great with the, the crack tree on your knee while you're watching a bit of telly. Yeah. You can get them done, yeah, if you bought that craft tray that I got, for, that you all bought, some of you got it in your gold boxes, they're brilliant. Just sit them on your knee, put a nice pillow on your knee so it's nice and high, and then sit them on your knee and uh, just roll out on there, sit there and do them. I like just sitting in the kitchen at night time with these and uh, 
just um, just some music on. Let's get rid of those a moment. I've done that one. I'll just do a few more. So if there's any questions, feel free to ask any questions. Or are you all on the phone to Laura? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why they've gone quiet. Are you all on the phone to Laura signing up? <laughs> If she doesn't answer the phone, you may well go through to our message service. We do have a lovely lady who answers all our phone calls. She can't answer anything for you. Um, basically, we don't like having an answer machine. Um, we just feel that an answer machine, there's nothing worse. Bleep, bleep, leave your message after the tone. It just is worse, isn't it? Or you say, please hold the line. You're number 20,000 in the queue. That's what happens now when your phone test goes or something, isn't it? So I'd love it to be that you have 20,000 in the queue with us, but that isn't the case. But uh, we do have a lovely lady who answers all our calls for us. And then what she does is she'll email Laura to say that you've called and Laura will get back to you. Um, some of you have been asking where your parcels are as well. If you do remember, I did say to you, there was only John and I down at the warehouse, and then we brought Laura and James back in. Uh, Laura and James only had actually one day off, <laughs> so they had to come back in fairly rapid. But um, we've actually, we are behind in dispatching orders. We have worked all weekend. We worked Good Friday and Easter Monday. We did take Saturday and Sunday off. Um, but you know we were dispatching then as much as they were pe collected by Hermes not all the couriers were working so we did ask Hermes for a special collection on Good Friday and Easter Monday which they did fulfill but that doesn't mean that you would have all got your orders some of you did and some of you were really surprised you got them but it, again it does depend on your local courier whether your courier wanted to work the Easter weekend um, so um, at the moment if you haven't got your order do be patient it actually causes more of an issue of you um, phoning the office and us trying to locate it if you can just be patient you'll find that every company is in exactly the same position you know where everybody's trying to get things out as fast as they can and when you're working with a very small workforce you know we've, we're trying to get goods in so we're having difficulties getting goods in to supply you as well because those suppliers are having issues everybody's having issues so sometimes your order might be delayed because we're waiting for something to arrive so we've done all that now so what i'm going to do here so we might be waiting for something to arrive and um you know so your order could be held then it may not have been picked yet and um, so don't worry you will get it okay but there is a delay um, the only things I shouldn't tell you this, but John will go mad. But if you do pick next day delivery, then you are you are sort of putting yourself up the list. But I also have to tell you that I can't guarantee next day deliveries. The couriers won't guarantee it at all. They don't guarantee next day deliveries anyhow. I'm not sure whether you're aware of that. There's no courier that actually guarantees it. Um, at the end of the day, it's a human being that does actually deliver your parcel. And if that human being has actually been stuck in a road traffic accident or motorway hold up or something like that, something unforeseen, then sometimes they just don't get to you. So, you know, most times you'll get your parcel on time for a next day, but you know, there's other issues. And at the moment, um, nobody's guaranteeing next day. The only thing that will happen is it will get picked and sent from us next day. So if you want to jump the queue a little bit, that's the way to do it. And John will probably strangle me as soon as this live is finished. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> won't be here tomorrow right okay it's probably in the car on the way back to strangle you now I wonder if I can have social distancing from John <laughs> right okay so you've seen we've done these now so let's get the let's get rid of those little cutters so that's from the Blossom Sugar Art set so as I say quite a lot of you've bought them already we're going to use these two here so just going to pop them in and these are just so easy to do so we're just going to pop them in in fact i want the i want it that way don't forget to like and share on oh, video yes. as well yes don't forget to like and share and um what did i decide the prize was oh i'll show you the prize when we come to use it so there you go isn't that pretty that look at that so there we go i'm going to put that on there i'm going to do a yellow one that's why so i did it double-sided so i could have two different colors so there you go, we'll do a yellow one there. Isn't that pretty, that? Can you see that, Simon? Have you seen yeah. that? I burnt myself. I didn't know I burnt myself yesterday. I thought, where's that come from? So, uh, uh, right. I, was getting, I, was getting I think it was, yeah. So, so that one is there. 
Um, then we need this little mold here. So what size? I don't want that because it's just a mixed colour there. So we'll just do that. There we go. Oh, oh I'll have to have it that way as well. Next. So I'll just pop these in. It just takes a couple of minutes to do these. Makes them really pretty with the two little colours. Can you see okay, all of you? I can. Yeah, oh, can you, have you got it on there for them to see? Yeah. Yeah. Good. You're a bit to the side, so you could be. Oh, sorry, where do you want me to be? Here? More to your right. Here, yeah. They just look really pretty, don't they? And put the flowers down to your right a little bit. So you oh, right, so they can see. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Ruin that one. So we're nearly done. So you get all your little decorations prepped up first. just so easy to push these out, aren't they? Look, have the kids sat there doing it. The blue and green one, is that the eucalyptus colour we're using there? Yeah, Sarah? I meant to say it is. So, um, the, the greeny colour we're using is the eucalyptus colour. It's lovely, isn't it? And then I'm using the burgundy here. So that was a, that one there is the pale pink, but I have got the burgundy, which, we, which is there, which I really like as well. So anyhow, it's lovely to see how many of you are enjoying the Facebook Lives, which is great. Let me just put that in there. I think that one goes in there. It's lovely to see how much of you are enjoying the Facebook Lives. I know some of you think we just pop up on your screen, but I will tell you that Karen and I have been in here since 7 o'clock this morning. And then we also have to think of ideas as well of what we're going to actually do. And uh, it's like sometimes Simon will say to me, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm like, I've no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. I've actually no idea what I am doing tomorrow while we're on that subject. But, uh, you know, we'll think of something. And it's Thursday tomorrow. Pardon? We're on Thursday night tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so there's that. Tracy Mann is in, in the morning. Yeah. Tracy Mann is in in the morning at half past 11. And I'm on tomorrow night. But I've no idea what I'm making. What did you say you're making, Karen? I'm making an ice cream cake. An ice cream cake. Did we tell them what you were making? No. No. <laughs> so you'll see that I rolled up the uh, paste there before. So it doesn't go to waste. Just a nice little marble effect. So on here then, so you can put these. I'd already done a couple of these before. So we'll just stick those there. In there. Just pop those in. Oh, I've missed one there. Get them in. This one there as well. Thought I'd done them all. Let's get them all in. Just going to hold in there. Who's got this set? It's such a lovely set. Have you tried it yet? I've got it, and I must admit, I don't use it very often. But Do I'm you not? I mean, I bought it off you for one of the classes I did with you. Yeah. Yeah. See, the thing is, lots of you buy these things, and you've got them in your cupboards, and you haven't yeah. used them. But you know, this is a way, you know, by doing this live, it shows you how to use them. And it's just such an easy way. And then I love it that you get the veining with it as well. Yeah, the little veining bits yeah, with it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, my poor back. Are you really good at making scones? Yeah, do you know what? Shall we make scones because Alison, tomorrow? Alison, Alison Morris has said, what about scones for Thursday evening? Yeah, why don't we make scones? That'd be good. And we've got, we've got fresh cream as well. We have. So, should we do scones? Do you fancy scones tomorrow? Um, I want to make those duffins. Have you had a go at making the duffins, Karen? No, my mum has. My mum did them. And did she like them? She, she did. mixed opinions. My mum really liked them. 
Yeah, it's mixed opinions. Yeah. I thought they looked great, but then I've seen people go, ooh, don't like that, made them and then didn't like them. Let me know what you think, are they nice? So, uh, but I mean, um, and then I saw somebody say you needed yeast for them, but I don't think you do need yeast for them, do you? No, no I don't think so. And then somebody it. said it's not much different than the cake mix. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to be like, it's supposed to be like a donut mix. It's like, it's like a, between a donut and a cake. Yeah. So it's like a duff mortar or a muff dough or something, don't it? It's something Be like careful, that. Karen. We could be having a whole different conversation here. <laughs> It'd be like, what's that? Is that my bush? You can't have a bare bush. <laughs> That's when I'm doing my cupcake bouquets. But I do genuinely mean, you don't see, you don't see a bush out there with flowers on with no leaves, do you? So, uh, so see, what's yours? A so duff mutt? Muff nuts. Muff nuts. That's muff what nuts. Be muff nuts. Yeah. That's what I thought they were called. Yeah. yeah. Have you heard of them, Simon? Yes. Have you? Or is it since you've joined Sugar and Crunch? Oh yeah, I was, I was only heard of them yesterday. <laughs> oh, you've been here for yesterday. <laughs> oh, they're called duffins. Duffins. <laughs> oh, crikey! Muff nuts. All sorts of names, duffins. haven't they? That's the right name, not no, muff, muff nuts. Oh. Muff nuts. What, what yeah. conversation are you having, Simon? <laughs> 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 muff nuts, duff nuts, crikey! <laughs> Oh yeah, your girlfriend will be having a chat with you. Go, what are you learning at Sugar and Drum, Simon? Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, we don't like to, but my dad just said it was like a cupcake filled with jam as he spilt it all down his throat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just I've seen lots of different things on the group, so lots of people absolutely love them. And I, but you know, it's like everything. We don't like it all, do we? We'd, we'd be boring yeah. if we were all the same. So you'll see that I've just marbled that there. So uh, all that is is just the leftovers. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to use that for one of my cupcake toppers. I'll decide which side I like. I think I like that side actually. So get my cutter out. And then I'm going to use a couple of these. I'll use a couple of, a couple of these domey ball things just to give it a little bit of shape. And then all you're going to do is just press it down. You don't have to use these. We're not going to. Use, we're just I'm just showing you these now. But that gives you a nice dome effect, and you fill it up. Karen's done a couple of here before in blue, and then you can just fill it up with buttercream there. Stick it on your cake. So let me just put that there. And then where's the other one? Ah, oh, there it is. We'll get decorating soon. Are they a very quiet group? Look, Karen. We have got a quiet group. How is our audience? We're at 129. Are you all queuing up to speak to Laura then? I think they are because it's, it's gone down and <laughs> they're all on the phone to Laura now. <laughs> Laura's been going, I only told her about, what, what did I tell her about three minutes before we went live? I went, yeah. oh, Laura, if anyone rings you. <laughs> so hopefully you are going to join us on that live. It's going to be a great day, I tell you. It's yeah, going to be a great day. day. And any of you who've been in class and seen it in class, you know it's a great day. We have great fun in class, don't we? So uh, you've, all, you've all enjoyed it. Debbie, you're another one. She's had those um, purple cupcakes dumb balls for yeah. years and then I take them out of the box. I know. We're so bad, aren't we? Go on, let's put your hands up. So how many of you have ordered next day because you need it next day or you're an Amazon Prime customer and you need it next day because I can tell you I got things in my cupboards that I started buying when I first started cake making seven years ago and uh, they've still got the labels on but I had to have it the next day and the whole lord if it didn't arrive the next day I was not a happy bunny so, <laughs> so who else has done that and to be fair you shouldn't have to order things next day you should be prepared I'm missing out on all these comments Carol I don't, oh, I don't know what people are saying oh is this because your phone's not charged no because I've got, I've got no data I can't connect to anything right, I can't well, see what anybody's saying on. tell you what to do keep that camera on there okay and here run next door turn my wi-fi off okay but on the back of my computer is the wi-fi code oh okay yes yeah, so take the phone with you yeah all right then so, um, and while we're doing that then, I will You're just on the front chatting camera. to you. So I'll just chat to you on the front camera for a moment while he goes and turns my Wi-Fi off my computer. Do you know the code to get into my computer? Let me write it down for you. So I just thought you're going to have to do that anyhow, aren't you? So. Yeah, lots of people have bought things and they're in the cupboard or they've used something once. 
Yeah. We right. all do it, don't we? Okay, so, well, so I'll see you all in a minute. Yeah, it'll be back in a minute, right, okay. So I'm just gonna take out some of this stuff here. So this is, um, we brought this in, it's called fondant, but it's actually sugar paste. So it comes from America, so they call it fondant, but to us it is actually sugar paste. And this is gold sugar paste, this is really lovely. So um, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna get some of this. So who's got this? I know one person who's got some. Don't look at me, you're looking at my mother. I am looking at your mother. <laughs> a few of you have bought this gold. So this is one that I'd already cut up and rolled before. So I'll just get that kneaded there. And it's lovely, it's got a really nice stretch to it as well. It's far more expensive than any of the other paste. So I will tell you, it is expensive, but you can roll it really thin. It's got a really good stretch to it. It's called satin ice. Now we do do it in all the colors as well. So we've got it in red, black, green, blue, hot pink, I think it is, uh, white. Um, we do the five kilo in the white. All the others are actually in two and a half kilo tubs. So when you look at the price, you think, oh lordy, that's expensive. But what I will do is I will tell you that it is good. By the way, Select Island have contacted us. So after the Easter, they should have dispatched a pallet to us before Easter. They couldn't dispatch it. So they are dispatching, they should have dispatched yesterday. But just before we went live, I saw a message come up on my phone going, I'm sorry, Carol, they didn't arrive. So I think they're collecting today. It's like I said before, everybody is having trouble with couriers. It's a nightmare trying to get anything shipped anywhere. And the couriers are putting their prices up. We haven't, we haven't passed that price to you either. But the couriers are putting their prices up. Don't blame them because it's not that. It's like it's just everywhere. The little rollies. Now, the little rollies should have been dispatched last week. So I'm just going to use this one as... Um, this one is a uh, pearl, isn't it? Pearl shimmer. So the little rollies, uh, that should have been, we haven't gone anywhere, Simon, so you're fine. Yeah, okay. So the little rollies should have been dispatched last week um, and I, I haven't seen any movement at all. So I have paid for the little rollies. I know you lot have only paid a fiver, but believe me, I paid a hell of a lot more than a fiver. And um, anyhow, it's just sat there. It sat there. Apparently I was given a new consignment number yesterday. Uh, Brian is pushing, trying to find out when it's going to be dispatched. Nobody can give any answers, so you're just going to have to bear with me, girls, on that one. And then the Russians have been in touch. I think we had this conversation as well yesterday, didn't we? Well, somebody said we were back in international spy ring yesterday, because we had Russians, <laughs> Germans and Dutch. <laughs> so the Russians have been in touch. <laughs> Apparently they've been having a nightmare as well. I don't know why they couldn't respond to emails, but anyhow, there you go. But they've been in touch and they gave me the heads up yesterday, no, Monday, uh, Bank Holiday Monday, they actually messaged me and said that they were really sorry and that they were hoping to be back into work yesterday and that they'd be giving me a tracking number. As of the moment, I still haven't received it. So those who are waiting for mini nifty nozzles, um, they're in there. So I'm just like you guys, I'm just having to wait. And it's not just me, it's every company. Every company is having the same problem. Right, okay, so you won't see how lovely and shiny that is, but this is the Pearl Shimmer, which is lovely. So I'm just gonna you roll just, out this. Yeah, if you just do that. I don't think you'll be able to see it, will you? Uh, no, no. You know. I think the Pearlescent's out in the other colors. Yeah, this one's Pearlescent. No, the other's out, I think that matte color's out. Because somebody just has added Pearlescent. They've got all the gold, this is the gold really yeah. shimmers the gold. This is, this is a Pearlescent. This is the Pearl Shimmer, this white. So there is a white and there's a Pearl Shimmer and that's what this is here as well. So I'm just gonna cut out a couple of these. So let me get my cake topper. So I'm just gonna cut out a couple of these. So I'm just basically getting everything ready for us to decorate. Oh, crack, that's a nice thick piece, isn't it? We don't want it that thick. That was a big sigh there, Simon. I'm, I'm just happy now that I've got... I, I You've was, got felt like I was working blind, you oh, know. Oh, did you? Just, <laughs> I, just I thought you were sighing thing. about the 29th of April. What's <laughs> happening on the 29th of April? You're here all day. All day. <laughs> You're going to be caked out, Simon. I'm doing the live. What? You're doing the live. Have you missed all that conversation? For the cupcake bouquet yes, class. Yes, no, no. Are you winding us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be telling me you're having a moment. So we're just going to put that there. Yes. Put that down. Okay. And I'll just do a gold one as well. My pace there. 
Oh, there's my cup of tea. Just let me have a cup of tea a minute. Made me eyes water that one <laughs> right okay so we're here Let's roll this, out. this is lovely this gold one yes i do love reading the comments thank you nikki <laughs> <laughs> oh nikki's a fan of yours isn't she is she yeah we've noticed nikki likes you yeah oh. It's nice of you all supporting Simon. Is it? It's really, you know, when you're a newbie and all that, it just makes you feel more comfortable, doesn't it? Do you think so, Simon? Yes. Right, so those are set, so I can take those off. Use those. Put the gold one over here. So, today's prize, we're going to use this set. So, some of you, actually, it sells really well, this set. But some of you will probably know what it is, and a lot of you probably will never know, have never known what it is. But I'll just show it one second. Get that out of the way. So we're going to use a uh, cake star set today. So the cake star sets, these are embosser sets, and you get six texture mats in each one. So this one here is uh, like this one's got a checker plate, cogs and wheels, netting. Bark, tire, and waves. Can you just go to the overhead, yeah, Simon? Yeah, just, uh, just let me zoom out a little bit. Just say to 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 um, Debbie Hargreaves, I am reading the comments, just yes. not reading oh, them out Hargreaves, loud. Yeah. I'm just I'm reading them. <laughs> While Debbie Hargreaves is on, Debbie Hargreaves, can you send me a message afterwards? Because I keep meaning to message you about something, and I keep forgetting. So send me a message and go, Carol, what was it you wanted to know? And then I can tell you later. Right, okay, so this is one of the, the uh, texture mats. I forget which one this one's called. There's three, there's three sets, okay? And this is the one with the checker plate, cogs and wheels, netting, bark, tire, and waves. So that's one, we get six of these. Um, they're like, they're bigger than an A5. So they're seven inches by 10. Yeah, so they're bigger than an A5, but smaller than an A4. So that's that one. The one that we're going to use is this one, and again, it, they don't have names for them. Is that the, is that the, is that the one with the, the roof tile and everything? There's one that's, no, this is the one with, uh, this is fashion, fashion, this one. Yeah. So this one is fashion, yes, yeah, so that's it. Right, okay, so I now know. <laughs> yeah. So that one is outdoor, okay, so the cogs and wheels is outdoor with the wires, with the wi waves, tire and uh, bark. This one is fashion. And this one's got roses, metal, pearls, pleats, fur, sequins, and we're going to use this one. And then this one is, what's the other one? The one with the roof tiles on. So this one's got roof tiles, scales, um, weaving, quilting, cobbles, knit, wood. It's got wood ones on the website. Yeah, I don't know what that one's called. You would think they would put it on there, wouldn't you? What they're called, but it's, so I don't know what it is with these companies. These companies to put packaging together and then they just don't name them so it's crazy so anyway i've already got them out so let's just see so i've got them out so you can use them both ways as well um so you can so both ways so like like this one here is the fur one now i'm not going to use the fur one it's not the one i want to use but i am going to use the pearls so depending on you can use it both ways so you can press over so that you've got the the pearls coming out on the top or you can press it so that the indentation of the pearls is going in so it's like little what would you call it when it goes in um Dance. like on the moon on like on the moon that craters is. craters that's it yeah and then um this one here it gives it like a nice uh, metal effect but also the diamond effect we've got roses we've got sequins and what was that one again the other one is just called cake star texture mats they've texture never, mats. They've never even um <laughs> they never even gave it a name <laughs> they never named one with the wood bin and the quilting right and this one's pleats so out of this set we're going to use the sequins the roses and we're going to use the metal okay oh we're going to use the pearl as well yeah 
So get yourself a piece of grippo. You do need a piece of grippo because if you put this on, it just slides all over the place. So grippo is easy enough. We sell grippo on our website, various sizes. You can chop it up as well into smaller pieces. I think you can buy it from B&M Bargains in a roll or home base. Um, but we sell all the pretty coloured ones. So and, and we sell them. Um, we we sell them just single round ones. Right. So okay. So what we're going to do is, I'm. Can you see the way that mat is? Yeah. Right, so I don't want it to look like craters, so I'm going to use it that way. So you give it light dusting of corn flour. So where's my corn flour pouch? There it is. So are you enjoying this live so far? They are, yeah. So just give it a light dusting, okay? Thank you, Princess Emma. Yeah. Light Thanks. dusting. Thanks, Laura. If you just put the link on for all the mats. Oh, actually, well yes. done, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised Laura's talking to us. <laughs> Are you still talking to us, Laura? <laughs> Who signed up? <laughs> so I uh, hope to get you plenty of there. And also with the live as well, that class, we will be answering questions as well. So Simon will have to do that. We're going at a much slower place, which, pace, which is why it's an all day class, because you've got to work with me. So, you know, we'll be getting out all the tools. We'll be getting everything out ready. We'll start out. We'll be decorating cupcake first. I'll be showing them. So it'll be a much slower pace. So Simon will have time to answer questions. Yeah. And nice. Karen will be here as well. So um, and between them both, they'll both be able to answer questions. So we're just going to pop the gold on there. I'm just going to roll it out. I'm just going to roll back. Morning to Michelle Quinn. Good morning. There we go. Well, I think it's afternoon now, isn't it? Is it afternoon? Is I it? think it is. Well, yeah. Mama still loves you. She said, "Don't worry, I'm still here." <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to uh, let's just do that one there. So you can see there, like the little texture. Can you see that, Simon? I'm not sure if you can see that well enough there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, a bit towards you, yeah. Yeah. That's gold, gold paste. So we're just going to pop that over there. Now this has got no tylo in this, so this will not firm up. This we're this we're just going to sit it on here to rest. Yeah. And then um, can I get another one out of there? No. Let's just do uh, one of the other designs to show you. So this one here is the quilting one. I'll just show you the different designs. Which way do I want it? I think I'll have it that way. No, I want it that way. And we'll see what happens. It's difficult to see which way which. Yeah, from, no, from... exactly. So I'm just going to roll it out. So you do, do need to roll it out first. Okay. Now there's, a diff there's different ways you can do it. You can roll it out on your board like this if you want to. And you can actually then impress on it like it this way if you want to. So, you know, there's, there's no right or wrong of doing it. So let's try it this way. So we can press on it that way, rub over. Or we can roll over it the way I did it before. And then we can peel off. So you can have that effect there. So let's just get that on there. That's quite nice, isn't it? I like that. Just a different effect. So I'm just going to take those off, pop that on there. Let's just do the roses as well. Yes, I think I might have missed that. What have you missed? I missed you rolling out the bubble one. Oh, did you? So I've got to go back. Rolling out the bubble one? Yeah, that How one. How did you miss it? Well, what were they watching? They were watching your face, Carol. They got all the concentration on it. <laughs> I was just getting excited about reading all the messages. <laughs> One shall slap Simon round the head shortly. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll probably have the abuse people on to me saying don't slap the staff. 
for it. <laughs> <laughs> they like it really. <laughs> we had the conversation in here before, I actually wondered where we were. <laughs> I have no idea what time. Nobody's looking at your about. face, Cole, don't we? I'm not, we're on the, I, I want to make sure we're all on the mat. All right. So I'm just going to marble these two together now. No, Debbie, I've never heard of that. What's that? Has anyone heard of fudges? <laughs> My cousin has just asked me, he thought I would know because of the ache. What are they? Fudge. Badges. Was he here wicking to our conversation before? <laughs> before we went live? <laughs> Doesn't that look nice, that back oh. old and shimmer together? Looks like uh, an egg if, that's, that's broke while you're flying The impression mats are 7 by 10, not 6 by 11. I never said 6 by 11. I said 7 by 10. That's a no, no, that's what I said. Yeah. They're the 7 by 10. Somebody, somebody yeah. just said they thought they were about 6 by 11. No, they're 7 inches by 10 inches. 178 by 254. They're, they're bigger than an A5, but smaller than an A4. They're a right good size. Yeah, they are. I like that marbling effect. That it really does shine, you know. Hmm. Let's just do that one that way. Right, okay. So we'll do that. I don't know where I'm going to put this one now. Yeah, you can see the sheen on that paste on can the they? camera. Yeah, people said they can see it. Right, that's yeah, good. Yeah, it looks good, that. Just gives it a little, little different yeah. thing, doesn't it? So we're just going to put that on there. Right, okay then. So we're going to get all that lot out the way now. So we'll just put that back in a bag. Out the way. Do I have to do it? Oh, I'll tell you what I was going to do. I was going to do this one here. So this little stencil, this little um, embosser here, is in the wedding cookie set, is it, Karen? Yes. Yeah, so we have a, a cake style wedding cookie set. So you can cut out your cookies, um, but you, with the with the cookie cutters, so we're back over here, Simon. Yeah, yeah. So with the cookie cutters, have you got it? Oh, right, that's good, isn't it? So Karen found this one in the drawer before. So in this set here, um, you get the two cookie, two cookie cutters. So I'll just put them there. So you get the cake, you get the dress, and then this here, you can actually put it, you know, it's designed to go on the dress, but we're going to put it on our little cupcake cases like this look isn't that pretty can you see that on the overhead Simon yeah yeah right goody good good so let's just put those out of the way there and then there's another oh, there's a few stencils in there oh crikey look at that there's Mr and Mrs in there it's amazing when you look at products yeah. what's in there isn't it you know we get these products in even I didn't know they were in there who'd got stencils but look there's a whole load of them look there's three of them in there how cool is that and they're not very much money them are they yeah so uh let's put that in there and let's just get we'll roll this white out and we'll use this white on it and then we can paint it up afterwards so if I want this one, I want it indented, don't I? So I want it that way. Just making sure I haven't stretched that twice. No, nope, I haven't. Great. So now I'm going to cut that there. It smells gorgeous, this satin ice as well. I tell you, I have to say, it's so yummy, you'll want to eat it. So I'll just taste it for you, just so that you know how nice it is, because it's just absolutely just delicious. It's not poisonous. It really is. <laughs> yeah, I have to tell you, it's really good. What was we eating yesterday? That was really good. Oh, those cupcakes were nice, yes. weren't they? Yes. Weren't those um, cupcakes nice? We're going to finish them off afterwards, <laughs> if we get time. <laughs> yeah, right. we just don't like gluten free crumpets. Oh yeah, they had gluten-free comforts yesterday. <laughs> oh, they were a bad mistake. I wouldn't buy that. Oh God, they were shocking. <laughs> so I finally got an order. I've been telling you, I finally got an order off Tesco's. It's only taken me three weeks. And I'm really fed up with Tesco's because you know what? I'm a regular shopper with them and I have a delivery every single week. And there you go, I'm just, that's it. No care for your regulars. But I totally understand. I have to stay calm. And um, I have to stay calm and I have to wait. So it's taken me three weeks for a delivery. And as I say, I was that excited to get a delivery that I didn't even realise what was in my basket. I just went, oh God, there's a slot. I didn't want to lose it. Ding. And anyhow, I always tick the tick box for no substitutions. But they're, they're automatically ticked and you can't untick them. And I thought, well, you can't go wrong with crumpets, can you? I mean, if I get, what can they give me? 
Well, I never really thought they would give me gluten-free comfort. So they arrived and I thought, you know what? They can't be bad. Karen and I were having them for lunch. Was it about half past seven yesterday morning? Yeah, breakfast, yeah breakfast, I was having them for our breakfast half past seven yesterday morning. It was like, I said to Karen, we got through one together. <laughs> We had one each, we weren't sharing. And um, we got through one, and then we, on the second one, I just went, Karen, I'm not being funny, but I really can't eat this anymore. She said, thank God for that, because I, I can't eat mine. They were shocking. <laughs> Tesco's, you let us down. <laughs> Substitutions. I feel sorry for you gluten-free people. So, right, okay, so. We're going to have a little bit of a spray up now. Nobody so, chooses to be gluten-free No, I know, I know, I know they don't choose it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know. Right, so we had these here before, didn't we? So we'll just have a little spray of these. So I'm going to use the little PME sprays. I'll just show you what colours that they are, actually, just so that you can see. We'll do one of each. So we'll do this one in silver first. And it washes off your board this as well. So these are PME sprays. So I'll just do one of each one. So we'll, we'll do this one. So this is the silver one, so that you can see. So you can spray your cakes with these, you can spray buttercream with them, okay, they're brilliant and they smell lovely, I love the smell of them, something, something wrong isn't there, <laughs> but I really do like the smell of these, don't normally like the smell of, of some stuff but this one smells, what colour is this one we're doing, we're doing this one gold. Look how lovely and gold that is, look, comes out the same gold as that. How cool is that? It's, that's not gold. it's not exactly spot on, but it's there, isn't it? So that's the gold. Let's move them out of the way. So remember, what we're doing today is easy vintage cupcakes, okay? So we're not, going, we're not getting too frilly or anything like that because uh, that's my next learning stage. <laughs> I have to learn a few hours before you. <laughs> Did you think I'm joking, you lot? Seriously. Right, so this one was the bronze. Oh no, rose gold. So that's rose gold. Yeah, seriously, I have to learn a few hours before you, you know. I know I always call it winging it, but really it is, I would have to go live with it on the day. Was that rose gold? Oh, we've got two rose golds out here. Uh, let me see what else there is here. There's um, <laughs> yeah, me, I've got a white one. I have to either wing it on the day, um, just go with it, or I have a couple of hours learning. So I've now put Karen in that position. So I said to Karen, you know that you're in the sugar and crumbs kitchen now and you can't work in the warehouse until all this is over. She said, yeah. I said, right, well, you best get learning recipes rapid. <laughs> yeah, no, she's never done ice cream cake. So I'm, I'm really happy to be a Joey. I'm not staying well out of the way. Right, okay, we're gonna do this in the white. I haven't tried this white before. So let's see what this looks like. Might look better on there, actually. We don't do a cookie cutter that's got holes around the edge, do we? Holes around the edge? Yeah, Mary, uh, Mary's asked us twice. A cookie cutter, then you've got the holes in. Oh, you have to put the holes in. I'll show you how to do it. You have to put the holes in. I'll show you how to do it because I know lots of you want to know that, actually. Good point. I'll show you, it's so easy. And then what's this bronze? So this is the bronze. So you can see all the colours here. Ooh, I like that. There you go. But there's the bronze. Looks good, doesn't it? What we're not used. I think that's it, isn't it? That's silver. Oh, pearl. I like the pearl. Oh, I've only got a little one left of the pearl. Oh, I've only got a little one left of the pearl. Uh, let's do this one. Let's do this. I like the pearl. I think you've got to run there. I know, I've got to run, eh? I know. Yeah. It's because it's that dome effect, doesn't it? There you go. There you go. Right, okay, so that's me played with them. They can go out the way now. Let's get them out of the way. So we've got those out of the way. They can go. And then we'll start painting up a few things. So this is one of our cake toppers here. This is what used with the wedding one. So uh, Karen did this one before. So I'm just gonna put in a bit of dust. So we're gonna use the pure gold dust. As you can see, we were already playing with it before. So I'll just put a little bit more dust in. So 
again just little ideas and then we get our we we'll put some silver in and then we'll start putting our cupcakes together so did there many people say whether they're signing up karen they said there were, a lot of people were interested but they haven't said whether they whether they're going to go through to laura wants the lives finished yeah is there any truth in it or anything yeah Yeah, so if you want to ask questions about that live, feel free to ask. I'm here, Karen's here, she's at the other end there, we can answer them. So it's yours to keep, okay? The only thing that I ask is you do not share it, it's yours. So when you make the cupcake bouquets, you don't share it on Facebook with anybody on how to make them. That's how everybody learns. It's like you should do that with all your tutors. Whenever you go on a class and you've paid for that class, you know, you've paid for that class. Um, you shouldn't really, you know, there's free tuition and then there's paid tuition. And when you pay tuition, it means it's that tutor's income. And, um, you know, you don't you don't share that tutor's income. How long does the spray take to dry the uh, PME sprays, Carol? Oh, it'll be dry very soon. We'll spray that we'll be using it later. And that, sh that shimmer now, look at that pearl now. It's looking re really nice. Can you see under there, Simon? Yeah, yeah it looks really good, that. Yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the glasses off because I can't see anything with them on. I can't see anything with them off. So here we go. So we've just done a little bit of here and I might have to pass this to Karen to finish. You haven't got my head under the camera there, have we? Uh, you're on the side one at the moment because of that. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, right. I can so, um, switch can... to the top one. If no, you... I don't want it because I might stick my head underneath and then you see me bald bits. So... <laughs> Right, okay then, so we're just going to, oops. It's quite therapeutic doing this. Do need some little fine brushes. You go dead quiet when you're concentrating, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I wondered what you were doing before. <laughs> I thought, what's she doing up there? Oh, she's gone quiet. It's like the kids when the kids go quiet, isn't it? You think, what are they doing? Just realised they've not said nothing for half an hour. <laughs> so hopefully you're enjoying this live. How's our audience? Are we still keeping an audience oh, with us? Absolutely. Yeah. 189. Good. We've got a hundred on there. Uh... YouTube. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, have you all been over and signed up for YouTube? You know that we're trying to build our audience over there. I know lots of you like the banter on uh, Facebook, but the thing is, on Facebook, it's only people who are on Facebook get to see it. And um, I actually want to try and get a few more followers over on um, YouTube there. So if you can go over, sign, sign up, that'd be great. You don't have to. You don't have to keep going over there, but it's it's a great. If you sign up there, it's a great reference. Um, so, you know, if you want to go back and look back on videos, they're all there. You know where to go and look for them. So do your thumbs up, your love hearts and stuff like that on there. Well, don't, they don't do love hearts, do they? We, Place a comment. Can we only ship to the UK at the moment now? We can only ship to the UK at the moment. We, we generally only ship to the UK anyhow. We do, if you write in, we, will do, we do ship to Europe. Um, and I'm not sure whether we can do that at the moment though. Basically, when all this Brexit thing started, that was one problem. Everything started to change. I, yeah, I don't know, they started um, scaremongering people, didn't they? And then with COVID-19 coming in, I think we've just given up. So at the moment we're UK. We do, we do, ship, we do ship out, lots of people who are abroad do email us. But the problem is, is once they get the, the shipping costs, they don't want to pay it and i totally understand because shipping is so expensive shipping is based on weight and it's also based on the volume size 
So it's like I was sending a parcel to Mexico. So um, there's Hector, Hector, um, oh, I can't think of his surname. Hector who does the flowers. He's going to be doing online classes with us. So I was sending him a little parcel yesterday. It's only a little parcel, just in a small box. And it was 57 pounds, just a little parcel for a kilo of weight to send. So lots of people, when they are abroad, when they actually get the shipping costs, they're like, ooh, I'm not paying that. And they think it's us charging, but it isn't. That's, that's exactly what it is. So, um, you know, and people don't take that into account. Everybody's so used to free shipping. They forget that, you know, the suppliers don't get free shipping. Yes, Geraldine. Carol will make sure there's plenty of stock on hand for you to buy off the website if a lot of people do sign up for the course. Oh, for the course? Oh, yeah, they'll yeah. all get everything, yeah. Oh, don't worry, there'll be plenty of stock in for the classes. It won't be going online, actually. It'll only go online when you ask me. When, you, when you're ready to shop, I'll, I'll have some in stock and I'll have some in reserve. It's like the flower situation. We didn't put it all in stock, you know. We kept it. We kept a lot of it secret. We had to, because it could. It could all get. It could just get a little bit mental. John's told me I'm not to mention flower to you, but anyhow, we do have flower. I'll just wind him up. He'll definitely be so glad of social distancing. <laughs> He'll kill me. <laughs> but we have got flower. <laughs> you don't know what I have to do to get flower. Believe me, I have to beg for it. <laughs> Thankfully. They don't want my body. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so look at that, it's pretty, isn't it? That's look at that, can yeah. you see that? Uh, to you. To me? Yeah, to me, yeah. to you. Yeah, you got, got it higher? That's, that's fine, yeah, you can see yeah, that perfectly. Yeah, pretty that, isn't it? So we're gonna use that one yeah, in a minute. Good. So uh, so we're gonna do that, what else was we going to do? So we're going to now brush up some of our little flowers here. So we'll brush up a couple of these, we'll, we'll dust them. So um, I've got out this ruby colour that I wanted to use. I quite like this little ruby colour. So you can add pearls in if you want to. So this is all the mucking about stuff before you uh, start to put your cupcakes together. Yeah. So I've not actually wet this. Um, probably could do with that kitchen roll. Where's that kitchen roll gone? One second. So we'll just paint up a couple of these. So we'll just do this ruby. Can you see there, Simon? Yeah, that's uh I'm just going to so I'm not gonna put a pearl in yet. In fact, let me just get a little brush there. Just gonna just pearl them up a little bit. Just give them a little effect. And then here. Laura, let me know, did John hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to stay in the sugar and crumbs kitchen tonight? <laughs> from the inside. He did specifically phone me before we went live and said, Do not mention flour. Do not mention this. Do not mention that. But obviously I forgot. As you know, I forget everything and then it just comes out my mouth before I've had time to think. And then I realise I'm in trouble. If you do want flour, by the way, it's two per bag. Two per, two per person. So it's two self-raising, two plain. Some of you have been a bit naughty and ordered eight bags. And some of you have been a bit naughty and ordered four bags. And the thing is, I have to send it, but it's just not fair to everybody else when you do that, really. It, it actually costs me more time to, um, to, let me just get the gold out. It will actually cost us more time mucking about trying to phone you to refund you but if you can just be try and be fair to everybody else we know that you know it says very clearly in the uh, in the product maximum two per person she says she can't promise he isn't listening <laughs> hey she can't promise he isn't listening i know i am a bit scared now because <laughs> he did he did phone me didn't he and he did say keep your gob shut i think it was words like that <laughs> <laughs> right okay so we're just all we've done there is just luster a few of these we're not going to luster them all just luster a few do you like the look of them you dusted your hand i know i've dusted my hand that's, that's part of the journey simon so we just lusted a few of them that's all 
Sam, we're going to lust your beard blades, Sam. Yeah. You're not going to lust my beard blades, Sam. <laughs> if you carry on interrupting with daft things, I'm already in enough trouble you with daft things. You won't be able to do it. You'd be I'm breaking gonna, social I'm, distancing. I'm going to get the yard brush. <laughs> exactly. I've got a brush here that can stick on the end of a brush. <laughs> People can see you're threatening me. Yes, you're lying on screen. I know. The problem is, they're a bit weird, these lot. They actually want to see it. <laughs> See what? Eh? My beard lusted. Yeah, your beard lusted, yeah. They'd like to see that. <laughs> eh? They don't believe you used to have a pink beard and a purple beard. And Have you had a lime green beard? You've yeah. had some funny ones, haven't you? Yeah. I remember when I first started working for you, and you used to turn up at the warehouse for the things and photograph you, and say, Who's that guy with the funny gold beard? <laughs> <laughs> Not half as funny when I first met Simon. He had a really long beard then, a really long beard, and beards freak me out. I can cope with the goatee beard, that's fine. And I can cope with a bit of a, you know, the George Michael, I like the George Michael beard, but then it gets to a stage where it's borderline, oh, I can't cope anymore, you have to get rid of that. So rather than paying attention to what I said, he just went for the full beard. And he come in, it was all down here. And then like a big chest thing. A chest thing? Well, it looked like a big airy chest thing attached to his face. <laughs> then on top of that, he grew his moustache and then he enjoyed winding me up by coming and then he kept stroking it and curling it round like that so he had these big curls <laughs> you're not prone to exaggeration are you <laughs> i'm not exaggerating that's the problem I'm not actually exaggerating it was down to his waist and yeah yeah the moustache well, curled over his head and yeah i wasn't back, gonna say round that round the back and then round the front again yeah, don't tempt her, Jane. She might get all the finishing sparkle from a distance. Yeah. You might look like... <laughs> That'd be <laughs> interesting. <laughs> so there we go. So we just had a little duster with them. Okay, right. Let's put the right lids on. Simon, are you yawning again? <laughs> Not yawning. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Hi, Kate. Hey, you know, he's in a lane, Carol. We've looked at six. I know. We know you don't do early mornings, but we do. I was up at half past eight. Ah, well, we were up at six, if you don't mind. We was in here for seven. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm just going to add a few little, we'll add, we'll add little bits to it. It then. seems so nobody wants to see my beard. Lusted. Nobody wants to see it. Lusted. No, no, no. Uh, listen, I just know that, that that audience is not the audience that I know, because I freaking know they will want to see your beard lusted. Right, Simon, Simon, okay. Carol would love to see that beard lusted. Yeah. Oh, I forgot one there, haven't I? So what we're going to do here, so what we're going to do here, so we've got the white fractal pen here, haven't we? So that's what we were going to do. So this is a great pen for writing on dark things. So uh, we've got navy blue here. So we're just going to write um, love on here. So if we can stop shaking. And then we're just going to a little design like that. It doesn't have to be anything, it's only just like little just crosses. Just hold your head back a little bit. Sorry, I've got my head in. You're not showing me bald bits, are you? Well, that's what I'm trying not to chair. do. You know. <laughs> just pull the thing a bit towards you. I'm not, I'm not. No, towards you. All oh, right, I was going to say, because I can't see. Uh, you, to, it's all going the wrong other at you. my age, eh? Towards the other you. The other me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all going wrong at my age, you know. My hair's falling out, my back's gone, my knees have gone. I grind my teeth, my shoulders are gone. It's getting old like it's rubbish, isn't it? I know, I'll tell you. Just, just doing a, I don't know what little pattern I'm doing on here. It can just be anything. It doesn't have to be anything. I'm just doing like little crosses. I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing actually. Does anybody know? No. Does it look alright though from a distance? It looks alright on the cat, it looks alright on the screen on my phone. So I'll just do that. Yeah. yeah. Shows up well, doesn't it, on the navy blue? Yeah, yeah, it does. That is great. This pen is great for black and navy blues and stuff like that. So then um, we're just going to do some little twirls. Debbie said at least your roots are done. There's yeah. so many that are going to be dying. We're going to be running to the hairdressers once this lockdown's It's on. a little box set. Have you had John, John and I, yeah. Well, I can't see, can I? And in return, I did his hair with the clippers. 
I can't, First can't, time I've not ever... seen him, so. Yeah, well, he's got a few nicks. So. <laughs> 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 Thankfully, he's got a ball bit on the top of his head I haven't told him about, but. <laughs> Just, I just told him. I just told him it's where he's going a bit thinner. <laughs> so, like they say, just just do some little wiggles. You can do them anyway. Are they wiggles or squiggles? Then I don't know what they are, but just they like backward s's. There you go. Just. Who else has had to cut their husband's hair? You all have. Oh, I need to do that little Pokemon down stuff that way. Yes. Because they all think it's a cutter, but it's not a cutter. I know my son got all of the hair. I've had hair cutters since he was a, a little one, but he's been going to the like the barbers. Well, we can't get there, so he's got the, the hair cutter. We've got home yesterday, and he's gone right to the wall. I do. I think that's what most people are doing, though, aren't they? Because they can't cut hair. They're just like they're just taking it all off, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Right. But, well, you can do that yourself without. Without seeing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's get this one. You don't need to do my on your bike. On your bike, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this one here that the lady, I think this is what she's talking about. So I'll just uh, show you in a second. It'll like the doily effect, won't it? Yeah. At the ends. Yeah. Simon, have you done my photographs this week? Everybody's been cutting their. Um... Husband's their own hair. hair. Their own hair. Oh, their own hair. <laughs> See, well, I won't cut my own hair in fairness. Miss Mickey King's cut her fringe. Oh, oh, God. oh God. The last time I did a fringe <laughs> cut, my sister was uh, only a little girl. Well, I was only a little girl. But I cut my sister's fringe. And um, I don't know whether you've done this, but have you ever cut your own fringe or cut somebody's? But basically, you try and cut it straight. It's like when I used to, I made a skirt once and my skirt ended up the same way. So you cut it and you stand back and it's like just there. So then you cut it there. And then you're there, and then you're there, and then she ended up it with a tuft up here. <laughs> and I had to tell her it was great. I said, you like it, don't you? You like it, so you do, you do like it. And she went, yeah, I like it, I like it. My mum and dad came home and went, who did that? And she went, Carol! <laughs> yeah, got a right idea. <laughs> right, let me get this little stool out of the cupboard, one second. Right, let's So what you do then is you get your cutter, I'll do it so it's bigger so you can see it. We don't want it this big, but it's just, in fact, no, we'll do it smaller because I'll be here all day. So um, you don't want it this big, really. Sorry, this is a small one. Oh, I didn't do the sequins one, did I? So this, this little toolkit, Simon, can you see this? So this is a little mini ball tool set. Now we've got different ones on. So this is like the multicolored one. And um, we've got one by Amy Sweet Stamps. That's um, individual. That's got lots of uh, multicolored pearls in it. And then we've got one that's about to go on the website this week. As soon as Simon tells me he's done the pictures. Have you done the pictures, Simon? No, nope, he's not done the pictures yet. So I've been busy one. doing videos and things. Can Don't I? be giving me that. I need them pictures. <laughs> I, I need them pictures. I've got to put that product on the website. I can't put that product on the website until you do the pictures. So, uh, but we've just got some that are glittery inside, so they're, they're all glittery. So I think we've got blue ones of these, haven't we? And pink, uh, no, the pink ones are the, we've got the, yeah, the blue ones are the double ended, and then the pink ones are shape them. Um, yeah, balls. so we've got pink ones that have got balls on the end and shapes on the top. Um, that's like if you're doing clay modelling or chocolate modelling and stuff like that. This one's got different size balls on. So basically, you just pick your ball, which size you want. We're going to go for this one. And all you're going to do, who, who that lady was, it's so simple. It's Mary. Mary, that's all we're going to do. Mary what? Oh, who? Okay. Mary Bowden. Mary Bowden. Mary, look at this. This is as simple it is as it is. And if you can just confirm, Mary, that is what you wanted to know. But that's as simple as it is. There's no cutter. Look. And obviously you can use the different ball sizes. So you can just leave it like that if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to, you could actually just start... So you could get even more frilly with it. So you can start like making like your own little doily design, design in it. 
basically you can just sit here and muck about that looks nice doesn't it and then what we could do is we could write carol can't, no we're right love i don't know how that i don't know what i you know what we'll just have to do a little love <laughs> i haven't got enough space right okay i'm mucking this up now no you can't write love you could do if you if you planned it yeah if i planned it and done it a bit bigger if I thought about what I was doing, I don't know whether you can see that. Yeah, you can see that, yeah. Can you? Right. Good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so there you go. That's it. That's as simple as it is. It's just those little ball tools. And they've got loads of different sizes on. Let me just show you them here. Let's hit them up, pack it. Do them on the overhead. So they've got really, really tiny ones. But as I say, we do them in blue. We do them in this multicolour. And when Simon gets his finger out and takes the pictures of the bars, we've got really nice, pretty, glitty ones. But having said that, sweet stamps have got lovely multicoloured ones. Theirs are really pretty. And they're yes. on our website as well. There is so. a thank you. It was brilliant. Was that that's what she wanted, what to, what know? wanted to know? Yes. Yeah. So can you see all the different size can you see the different size ball heads there? Look. Yeah. Can you see? And believe it or not, there is ten different sizes of ball heads there. And like a lot of people, to be fair, I'm glad actually Mary asked because a lot of people don't know what to use these for. Jo Griffin uses these a lot, doesn't yes. she? Yeah. For her modelling. Yeah. Great, okay then, so let's pick that up. Let's do some, uh, let me just do the sequin mat because I've realized I haven't done the sequin mat. So from here, so this is gonna be today's prize, isn't it? Where have I put the, where have I put the mats now? Behind you. Behind, oh yeah. no, they're not, they're here, they're here, they're here. That's really let's just get them here, yeah. Let's do the sequin mat and the rose mat. So sorry, let's do this one. So, um, do that what are you doing do you want okay, me? Go away. No, no. <laughs> I thought you was I thought you was giving me one of your sign languages there Not it's yet. so it's so funny this social distancing isn't it so um, I'm gonna put this one this way so you um, so basically you can either do your mat there and put that on like that if you want to Mary said you did it with a kebab stick, not a pretty side. Thanks, team. She did it with she a kebab stick. <laughs> so, so you can either push over the embosser, you can roll over the embosser if you want to. You can use a smoother. If you've got a smoother, you can use a smoother over the top, or you can just roll over it. And then we're just going to peel it off. Look, there you go. Isn't that nice? I that. Love that one. So let me get the. Uh, where's my cutter gone? Let me get my cutter there. Yeah, that's a good cutter. I'm done with them cutters now. There they are. Right, okay. So we'll just do that one. That's lovely, that sequin one, isn't it? So that's the sequin one there. And then let's do another one. Let's do the rose. I've got any of that pink left. I've got any of that soft pink. Peggy's nearly right here in the USA. It's five to five. And she says, good morning. Good morning. Let me just do this uh, rose pink one. Put these two together. We'll do the rose. So let me just, I'm just pushing, this is some of that shimmer, but I'm just pushing some of the pink into it. So just give me a couple of minutes while I get it all kneaded in. So it's like a really soft pink. So we haven't even decorated a cake yet, have we? Which camera are we on, Simon? Which one do you want to be on? Um, let's let's talk to him, shall we? Okay. So we haven't even decorated a cake yet. So there's a lot of preparation. So you know when you're selling your cupcakes, how you understand why they cost so freaking much? <laughs> the time and effort that goes into them. Well, there's people that understand, isn't it? The amount of hours that you do, you spend making them all. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to do that uh, rose one, aren't we? So let's just do that there. So all I've done is, is just add a bit of the pink with the shimmer there. Actually still shiny actually. Right. And then there's a lovely rose one here. So where's the rose one? There it is. And then I would like it. I want it that way. 
All right, I'm back. So like I say, you can either do that, you can get your polisher out. Let me grab one, just one second, just so that you know what I'm on about. You could get one of these out, flatten that over it to emboss it. And peel it off, that gives you that nice rose effect. So we're gonna cut out from there. So who's gonna play just decorating cupcakes later? Who's going to have a little play? And was any more said that whether they're coming on the class? What um two books? Oh have they? Good. Good girls. Who are they? Well, there was one, uh, there was one lady, I can't stand your feet now, she was looking on YouTube and she said Laura an email. Ah, right, fantastic. And another lady had £50 um, birthday money left in, as soon as this is over. She's going she's to do going that. To book it. Fantastic. So it'll be a great day. The thing is, you can always join afterwards as well. So, you know, if you want to ask people what did they think of it and you want to join afterwards, then you can. But obviously it won't be live, you'll be then, re you'll be then seeing the recorded live then. So the idea with the live is you can ask questions, which that's the most important bit. Um, but it's yours forever then for you to go back to. So let me just, um, I'm, I'm going to do this in the copper actually. So let's just do this here in the copper. So I'll just get a little bit in the container there. Yeah, that's a nice thing when you do it in live and you're part of it and you're part of the group as well. So like I say, it will be a slow, it be a, it won't be like um it won't be like a live now where you're crashing everything into two hours. It's actually a whole day live. So uh because we're gonna go through everything. It's Debbie's one with a birthday money. She's emailed Laura already, Debbie Hargreaves. Oh, is it Debbie? Yeah, yes. great. And the, and the good thing is, is like if you get tired through the live as well. And you only do so much, you know what? You can sit back and you know, like, um, you can sit back then and just watch the rest of it and then go back to it at your leisure. So it'll be good, right? So I've used the ruby here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to paint these. I'm just going to paint this rose. You don't have to paint it. That might be a funny angle. Let me sit down. So you don't have to paint it dead neat either. You know, it might be the future, you know, doing online live classes. So I know it's nice for everybody to come in class, but you know, they, I get so many emails of people who just can't make it to class. Yeah. And a class can be too much for yeah. them, you know, and I've got a lot of people who are, are wheelchair bound as well and they just can't do it. And again, if you're doing it online, as you said, it's something they can keep going back to. Yeah. And the, and the good thing is, it's because you're participating as well. You know, while, while you're participating, it's all part of it, isn't it? And then buying into it as well. There, there's other things that I'll be doing and putting together. And I can come back and re-show you things again. So, you know, like once a month, we can come back into the group and um, do a little, you know, follow-up live. Do things together, see where people have had issues. But I'll tell you where to buy the ribbons and the tissue paper from and everything. So I'll tell you where to get it all from when they can't buy it from me. And what I'll do is I'll work on that this weekend. So then you'll have two weeks to get everything in. And to be fair, uh, Amazon is, are delivering within five days. So all we're doing here is, doesn't have to be nice and neat, but this is the rose mat, this one. So it doesn't have to be nice and neat. Lovely though, that pearl, you've done the pearl, you know, the pink pearl shimmer, yeah. And then with your ruby, I can see it on the camera here, it's absolutely lovely, can you? Yeah, yeah. But they're nice, these little textures, mats. I and mean, you know what? I don't, I've sold these from the from the day I've had sugar and crumbs. The, this, um, I don't think this was the first one out, I think the roof tiles was the first one out, and this one came out a couple of years ago, but they're just so handy. And I wouldn't use them for the whole a whole side of a cake, if I'm honest. But I certainly use them for like your cupcakes. So I've developed the shakes now, guys. So sorry if it looks a bit dodgy. 
but the shakes have just come in. Yeah, so a very positive comment about doing an online course. Right, great. So that's good. And who actually wants to do it with me on the day? So who would they, if you just let me know who would actually want to do it with me on the day? I mean, I'm not going to change it. It is going to be an on the day class. And then it's just so that we can answer all questions then. Because otherwise, if I, don't, if I don't do it as a live where you answer on the day, what happens is I'll spend my life answering questions afterwards. So the best thing to do is we can answer it on the day. And I can re-show things as well. And not, not only am I showing you how to do the cupcake bouquet, I'm actually going to show you how to use the Russian piping tips. I'll also be showing you how to make a peony with um, a one, two, three nozzle and um, a one, two, one nozzle. Um, I'll be showing you how to make the buttercream and then obviously how to put them all together. So there's a lot in the class. We'll be using different Wilton tips to make some flowers. Now, I'm not the most perfect, but I'm enough to get by on. So, um, and you know what? In On the day of the class, you won't get it right on the day. You won't. It's like when people come here on the class, they start off the first three or four cupcakes, and they'll tell you, we do 24 cupcakes, and the first 12, you know, they're like stressed out about and disappointed. But then what happens then is when they get onto the next 12, and they've settled in and they've calmed down, they come out really well so um, and then when we mingle them all together nobody can tell and lots of ladies will tell you that we've been on the class we're very we're honest about that but it's like everything it's practice isn't it so can you see this rose effect coming through absolutely great now i i'm not the neatest painter here i am doing a bit of a a shaky job This would have been just nice, just to shimmer actually, with the one of the sprays. We've right. Got six up to now. Who wants to do it on the day? Be Carol. Good, good, good. How many? Six up to now. Good. We only need another fifty. <laughs> <laughs> Make it worthwhile. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, there we go. Well, I'll get John to send it right an email and tell you all about it. Uh, bearing in mind he doesn't know anything about it at all at the moment unless Laura's told him. All right, let me just choke myself on my cup of tea again that I choked myself on before. Yeah, and those uh, embossed mats that Carol's been using, they are great for cake boards as well, to decorate your cake board. Yes, you could, yeah. Right, so cupcakes, Karen. So we've yes. got cupcake cakes here. And then you're gonna wonder what this little dodgy mess is for. But we'll talk about this little dodgy mess in a minute. So I need to uh, take that off, pop that on there. somewhere that one needs shaping over doesn't it right okay cupcakes is Laura still with us yes Yeah, they can buy it any time. So if they want to join in on the day, to, to be fair, if they want to join in on the day and get to know all the equipment, they'll be best off signing up in the next week, okay? They can sign up afterwards to join, um, but obviously it's not online then. What, what The online thing is that they'll just have to watch it and learn, yes. okay? But what, what happened, the good thing with the online is, is that we're able to talk to people and it's not, you know, it will only be those people who are actually on the class. So it will, it will mean that it will only be those people who are watching. So it won't be like hundreds of people who are watching throwing in questions. It will only be those people who are on the class. Right, okay. Sweet success cupcakes. Lovely. So, here we go. So uh, let me find my glasses again. There they are. All right, let's get a couple of these on. So we need softened buttercream, which this is probably firmed up. Oh, no, it's all right. So 
what we'll do is we'll get a couple of these on. So we're just going to pop in our little bit of paste, a little bit of buttercream. There we go. Just into the centre. It's always one little dodgy stray bit, isn't there? So just into the centre. There we go. And we'll get our little topper. Pop this one on this little gold one. A little bit actually, we need more buttercream for that one. I did bigger toppers. So when I did them before, I did small toppers. I did small toppers and um, and, and I did more buttercream and small toppers. This time I put a little bit of buttercream on and bigger toppers. I'm just going to shake that on, so that's one there. So we'll get them all on first and then we'll start adding some embellishments. So Karen, did you say you had some more buttercream for me? Yes, it was. I've We're having to use the orange, aren't we? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh well. This one's underneath the cut top of anyway, isn't it? So? Yeah. We'll just have to explain why they've got orange buttercream. So we'll just pop a few of these on. So there we go, over the top. And then you just slip it on and then help mould it in. So these are in, these are easy vintage cupcakes, okay. So these are just little easy ones that we're playing with. They look very effective. Yeah, exactly, very for starters, effective. aren't they? Lovely. And like I say, I, I need to learn the more advanced ones. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're really good that you can still impress them coming to a, to a tea with you and you put those out. That's what they look like. They didn't impress Simon this morning, though, did they? <laughs> they did, yeah, they were really good. Yeah, I was very impressed with that. Simon came in this morning and he didn't even acknowledge them. We had to send him out again, rethink the situation. So yeah, we, we said, to, we we said to Simon, good. Simon, what do you think about our cupcakes? So the and, and he didn't. He went. What cupcakes? I went. Them cupcakes. And he went. Oh right. What do you want me to think about them? I mean. I mean. What type of response is that? What do you want me to think about them? Just. It's just the banter it's a we have. Typical man thing, isn't it? You know. No encouragement or anything like that. Like my John would have come in and went. Oh Carol, they're gorgeous. Whether he liked them or not. But you know, Simon come in. Well, what do you want me to think about them? Simon, go out the room and come back in again. Full of personality, please, Simon. Well, then he went mm. on TT when he came back Yes, in. he did. What did you do when he came back in? What did he do? He I said, that lovely cupcake. Your cakes are stunning. Yes, that's right. Yes, he went over the top. So we genuinely didn't believe him then. It was like, right, Simon, that's yeah. a little bit too much now. So all you're doing now is putting this little stuff. Yeah, he went over the top then. He said, oh, I can't please you two. What's wrong with you? <laughs> So anybody who's new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen and you're watching, um, if you're watching, my name's Carol McFarland and basically I'm not a professional cake decorator, I'm just like you guys, I'm just playing. I'm just playing in the kitchen, I'm just enjoying myself and getting the tools out, let's have a little play and um, you know, I've got such a really good following customers who buy stuff and you know, they'll all tell you, some of them use it straight away and can use it beautifully, others sit there looking at it, scared to death and uh, some of us, we just... It back. We have a look at it, we stroke it, we love it. Who gets a new product? You know what I'm going to say, don't you? It's a woman thing, doesn't it? Who gets a new product, a new cakey tool, and it comes and you look at the packaging and you stroke it and you're dead excited? Oh God, and you tell your husband he has no idea what you're on about, or you don't tell your husband because it was a prize, or you do tell your husband that you won a prize, and then you stroke it and then you put it away in the cupboard and you hide it and you just never touch it again. But you needed it though, didn't you? You did need it. So all we're doing is we're playing. So we're just going to put these little toppers on now. And then we'll stick some little flowers on. And as I say, anybody who's new to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, this is just basic vintage toppers because that's the stage I'm at. <laughs> Basically, I learn and then I come and show you what, what I've learned. <laughs> and we go from there. It seems to work, doesn't it, team? It seems to work. Absolutely. You know, since I've been working with you, Carol, I've been getting some of my old stuff out. 
Yes, I know. I'm playing with yeah. it. Yeah. And you've been doing a lot more yes, as well, haven't you? Have. Yeah. So it's great. How many of you have been getting all your stuff out since you've been watching? So there we go. So I need to go and get our orange buttercream now. Oh dear. I think it's there, Karen. Oh, does it? Does it just need softening I'm up? Just gonna look it because I've softened it before. I just want to make sure it wasn't. So we're just going to soften up the buttercream. It's actually, it's so the it's not too bad. Oh, is it all right? Okay. Yeah. So what they're saying then, Simon? Are they agreeing? What? Oh, you mean you were paying attention then? Is that soft enough? Or do you need to do you need to give it a test? Yeah. So we're on orange buttercream. Yeah, it's fine. Let's yeah, we've got a lot who are like me, they just, they just started getting the, the, the high things and then they started getting them out again now. And the thing is though, how many of you opened up a drawer and didn't know you had it? Or like me, I'll be here, I've got a shoot in the kitchen now, I've got, I've got that, I've got that, where is it, where is it? Can't find it anywhere and then I find it eventually, you know, and it's like, just drives you insane, doesn't it? What, your kitchen timer? Oh, we found the timer. I found the timer, you cannot believe it. We was having, after we finished yesterday, Karen and I were having our lunch, and I looked, because we have to do social distancing, she's this side of the kitchen, I'm that side of the kitchen. And I looked and went, Karen, there is the timer. So not only have I got timers on my ovens, okay, that I didn't know how to use, that I've now learned. I've got a timer on my watch, I've got a timer on my phone. I've even booked, get the timer, Karen, now we know where it is. I've had the kitchen upside down, looking for my pink timer. And I put it in a place that I would never forget because I would never forget this place. But believe me, it's never been used. Never been used, don't even know if it works anymore. Never been used, it's got a little stand with it as well. But I had to have it off Amazon. I had to have it next day delivery many years ago. <laughs> Sits there like that, look. But I had to have it, it's got a magnetic bit. And what do you think it was stuck to? Me extractor fan. There it was. I couldn't believe it, honestly. Karen nearly fell off the chair the other side. I went, oh my God, Karen, there it is. She was like, oh, what, what? <laughs> I went in the frigging time. And we've had this kitchen ripped apart looking for it. Every drawer, every yeah. So let's just get that one on here. So I've got more timers in here now than I, than I ever need. Right, so let's just see. I'll have to put a little bit of buttercream on here. This is going to have to have a, a mingle. Of cream. So if you put a little blob on like that, to be fair, just dome it in the middle. You'll see that I'm actually putting the putting this on, and then I'm sort of stroking it. And what it is, I'm actually just moulding the buttercream round. I'm just sort of slightly softening it. And you can sort of do that with it, stroke it as long as your hands are clean, and then it's just got a really nice even. You see that, Simon? Yeah. Paying attention. It just, yeah. just look so much better than just being completely flat. Yeah, than being flat, doesn't it? So you know, just like give it a little mould, just soften it in. So that's what I'm actually doing with it. I'm just giving it a little bit of love. We've only got two more to do, and then we'll put some pretty flowers on them. Buzzing. Is it your Is it you? Sorry, it's my um it's me. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. Carol, I'm buzzing. <laughs> you mean you're charged up it, you're excited about oh. our games. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Let's get rid of all these things now. Let's make some space. So we've used eucalyptus, we've used um Colour Splash, I'll just put those there. Colour Splash uh, Burgundy. We've used Karen Davies Mould, FMM Smoother. What else have we used? We've made our own sugar and paste, satin ice. And then we've used the Blossom Sugar Art. Just got one more to cover. We've got a spare bun. And then once I've got all these on, I'll just quickly do the rainbow cupcakes for you. Karen, do you want to grab one of those rainbow cupcakes? They taste great. Did you all enjoy that rainbow, uh, what we were doing yesterday? You couldn't believe it, could you? Okay. You didn't think they were going to come out that nice and bright, did you? Oh my goodness, were they bright? Yeah, they are bright. Put it that way, Carol. Sorry, that way. Yeah, they were nice and bright. And um, 
I told you I was giving them to um, a lady who's got four kiddies, who's got twins. And um, anyhow, um, she was watching, they, they were watching and they couldn't believe it was them because I said, did you say it's me, it's me? And they, they said, no, because they weren't sure whether it was for them, but it was for them. But anyhow, they were really chuffed. Right, just one second. Let me just go in, um, let me just go and wash my hands in my cloth and then I'll be back, one second. Right, Karen, you have to get the other way. Sorry, I'm going to have to blow my arms and wash my hands together now. Is there Karen? Do you want to shout anything out to anybody? Yeah, they're just. Uh... Do you want to go on up there? And I'll do a few comments about what's my hands. You can go past me on the front of the camera. Oh, to show what you look like. Not <laughs> Because you've got the door open and I'm actually, I'm actually doing a Maria now. I'm actually cold. <laughs> <laughs> cold. You're not cold. I was sat down there. There must have been a draft. I'm telling you, there was a draft. <laughs> a couple of questions for a lady who's in America about what the stockists are in America. Ah, right, okay. Then. Yeah, and uh, the Cake Star, the, oh, the Cake Star texture mats, so Laura just put the link on for those onto the website. Yeah. And then yeah. the sugar, uh, Blossom Sugar Art as well. Right, okay then, um, do we have to do a bit of a dance now so you can get round here? Get back, come on. Yeah. Get back round here. <laughs> I tell you, we're, we're telling me. What do you like? I'll tell you what you can do, you can get the kettle back on. Absolutely. <laughs> Right, okay, because I need that hot water for this yep. paste now. So, um, Simon, are you over on the camera here now? Um, which one do you want me on? Uh, over on the overhead? Yep, we're yep. on the overhead. So you'll see we've got this little bit of gunky mess here, okay? Now, to be fair, Karen and I was laughing before about this uh, gunky mess. All this is, this is a bit of your um, florist paste, yeah, added with a little bit of water. Can you see that on the overhead there, Simon? Yeah. Yeah, so it's just added with a bit of water. A bit of water and we're going to add a bit more. Karen's putting the kettle on it and what, what it is, is it's, it's like a stronger glue. So you can use royal icing if you want to or you can use this. So you need like a little pallet knife. So all it is, is camera it Simon. So a bit of this. Moment, yeah. yep. So you're just going to bake, bake, break a bit of this off and you're just going to, this one's gone rock hard now. So just soften it in the microwave for five seconds. Break a bit off, put it on top of your top. So you can put it straight onto your pink board here. Um, and then add a little bit of water to it and keep mixing it until it softens up into a nice paste. Yeah. was doing it when she was making the shed in that, the pram she uses yeah. as, a, as, a, as a glue, doesn't she? She does, yeah. And lots of people do it, actually. So we're just going to get everything out of the way and ready. So we decorate these little cupcakes. So you enjoying this live, everyone? So don't forget, I'm on, there. I'm on tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Um, Karen, we've got Tracy Manning tomorrow morning at half past 11 on our page. Then I'm on tomorrow night, don't know what I'm making. Karen is going to do the live on Friday at half past 10 and I'm going to be her assistant, so I'll be down there. I'm actually going to let Karen do the full intro, the whole lot. Um, so she can do the intro, she can do everything, the whole lot, and we'll go from there. And then, um, and then on Saturday I'm on Cake Flicks. So uh, Cake Flicks, caking it around the world. So I knew I had a cake left, so. Is it half past 11 on Friday or half 10? You said half 10. Half past 11 on Friday, sorry. Did I say half 10? You said half 10 and you probably not my father. Oh, no. Half 11. <laughs> sorry. All our sessions are half 11 in the morning. And then tomorrow night, Thursday, I come on and do Thursday. What am I doing? Scones am I doing? Scones, That's it. Scones, We've agreed to do yeah. scones. That's it. That'd be nice, won't it? Scones, I like scones. Or are they scones? Well, well that's another the, one, isn't it? We're going to have to have the debate then when we make them. So Karen and I will have to make them tomorrow. But you can't. Then, how do you re, how do you write that? Because they're, they're written the same. I know. It's how you can ask, isn't it? Was it? A scone, it but, have an e on the end. I'll have an e on the end. Scones. Yeah. So uh, I always say scones anyhow. Yeah. But I come from Devon as well. Well, my family come from Devon, uh, a little town called Barnstable, and. Um, down there we'll be having this debate won't we tomorrow that's what's going to happen it'll be do you put the jam on first or the cream on first because i always put the jam on first and then the cream what do you do 
well, I would put jam on first and a cream because trying to put cream on top of trying to put spread jam, jam on, on cream, can you? No. 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 But anyhow, let's start that round now so we can get it over <laughs> and done with for tomorrow. Because <laughs> we know what you like. <laughs> So this is the shiny one, isn't that lovely? Look at that pearl one there. There's some hot water. Yeah. yeah. That looks lovely, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you were very impressed with the pearl looking one. Yes, yeah. it looks great, that. Yeah. Right, okay then. Good, so we've got some water here now. And uh, I'll just take that off there. Honestly, it's like, it's like, it's really, you have to, you have to muck about with this. I'm just going to dip my palette knife in the hot water and just put it on like that. So you just have to, you do have to mess about with it for a little bit, but basically you're making your own sticky paste. And all this on this jam then cream, we call this way. Eh? Jam Is that what they're doing? Are they all yeah. saying jam then cream? Jam then cream. Because we could start the toilet roll debate as well, couldn't we? Which way do you hang your toilet roll? Well, there's only one way to hang that. Go on, which way is that, Simon? Well, the pattern comes over the top. Well, you know what, Simon? You can stay in the kitchen. Yes, you, you, you you're a, tell you, you're a well, keeper, if, Simon. Come on, if you buy printed toilet roll, which some people do, which yes. I don't, yeah. the pattern is on the, that way. You wouldn't yeah. put the pattern towards the wall. Oh, no. That's like so, hanging your curtains with yes. the pattern to the because outside. You, ha you have to have it this way. <laughs> so that's what Simon says. So it goes on the wall and then you pull it that way. Hang on, you're then, the, yeah, yeah, you would explain it, that to sorry, nobody. So you pull it that way, don't you? So it's hanging over. And then when you get really posh, when your friends are coming around, you fold it into a nice little triangle on yes. the end, don't you? So uh, when you're being posh. But you I can't have an, do that if it's your I have way. an alternative on the on the scones, though. Go on. You put the cream on the bottom half and the jam on the top oh, half. Oh, Simon, you, you were doing so on. well. You, you, you were doing so you well, You don't put Simon. the jam on the cream. You was part of our gang. You don't now put the not. jam on the cream. That's impossible. <laughs> you put the jam on the top half of the scone. Well, that yes. means you've got to have and a then, big mouth then to get full bits at yes. the same time. See, so I don't eat it. the full scone together. We've yeah. got dainty. What yeah. do you mean? Well, when I cut a scone in half, I don't put oh, jam you put on a one and cream bit, on the oh, other and then put a little bit of jam. bite it. Yeah. So I put jam on, then cream on, and have half a scone. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So I don't put, if you put jam on and cream on and slap them together, then you've got to bite them together, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, Nikki, Nikki King, obviously clotted cream, yeah, not whipped. Oh, yeah. absolutely, clotted yeah. cream. Can't have clotted cream tomorrow, though, unfortunately. I know, you know what, we're going to have to do whipped cream tomorrow, but I have to be honest, I think it's a sin. Doing whipped cream it with scones is, but it's, uh, has to be clotted cream, so doesn't it? Unless, it, unless if, if, if Marks and Spencers aren't really, really busy, she says, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> what, we're back. what are you going to offer to go and buy it, Karen? Because they don't get some, but you know, it's just that, that, it's that, it's that fear of going there and you see a queue going all the way around the building. Yeah, I think there's, 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 there's so go, it's on, always going to be like that, isn't it? Are you yeah. on the overhead there, Simon? Now? You are on the overhead at the moment. So what we're yes. doing is we're just sticking it in there, okay? That doesn't really work, Amy. What doesn't work? She's, put, she's put scone like, scone like gone or scone like gone, I don't know which one. Scone like gone. <laughs> or scone like gone. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just get those on. <laughs> And we started a row in Kelly's house now. Oh, have we? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, we're having our own row in here. Simon's going to have to decide what team he's on. Oh, I mean, he's right. already started off on a bad foot this morning. No, I don't By not telling us how oh, fabulous gosh. our cakes were. So, I mean, then he had to go out and have a little chat with himself <laughs> before he was allowed back in. So let me just finish these one a minute so you can see what we're doing. Oh, we're very particular here, you know. So look, it's dead easy, look. So all you've done is you've done that little paste now. I mean, preferably not with green. It's probably best to do it with white. It looks nicer. Oh. We'll put some little um, pearls on in a minute. Shelley Walkington saying, make your own clotty cream in the oven. I was just about to Google it. Can you do that? It's Can you make your own? own you know what? And Shelley it? would know, you know. Yeah. She would know she's brilliant, Shell. Thanks, what? Shell. Thanks, Shelly. I'm going to Google it in a minute. Yeah, we'll be on it like a rocket. <laughs> we'll be there. Be I tell you, if I, can make, if I can make clotted cream, believe me, I will never be losing weight again. I'm going to be three times bigger than this. We'll have to have an extra wide screen. <laughs> John will go mad. I love clotted cream. 
I'm that greedy person. You know, when they give you a clot of cream, I have the whole lot on. I'm not bothered about the jam. I like a little layer of jam. And then, uh, but I have to have the whole lot on. Just hold that a little bit towards the top right. there so we can. So we're, we've got to put some pearls on and stuff yet. So we're just going to sparkle these up. So I just want to luster this up a little bit. So, uh, so can you see that? that yeah, there? that's very clear. So this was this one of the one of the mats, the sequins mat. Looks nice that, doesn't it? Yeah. I've actually done my thumb as well, just in case. <laughs> Looks nice, that, especially with that nice green underneath. So I've done that one there. So let me just see what else we're going to do on here. One second. Oh. You could have a right royal row over some things, couldn't you? And you, you can think, why have you fell out with... I mean, the worst thing to do is fall out with your family members over a game of Monopoly. That can cause a row on its own, can't it? But to have a row with somebody over the which way the toilet roll goes. <laughs> <laughs> or your jam and clotted cream. <laughs> Don't play Monopoly, it's not worth Pardon? it. Pardon? Don't play Monopoly, it's not worth it. Oh, I know. I tell you, I, I, I had a big row with my ex-husband over over Monopoly uh, only because he was a cheat he robbed all the money and then won <laughs> really wasn't happy <laughs> Carol it takes 12 hours to cook and 8 hours to cool down oh my god <laughs> <laughs> go to Marks and Spencer's Karen <laughs> I, I don't know it could take just as long now I understand yeah now I understand why you only get it in little pots they don't sell it in 60 mil, 600 mil pots <laughs> What does it take? Is it 12 hours for cooking and then 8 hours to cool down? Oh god. Oh. Can't wait that long, Karen. Marks and Spencer's it is. You've got through Chef John's, it's 20 hours. Oh my god, who the hell is Chef John? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Chef John. <laughs> but does Chef John know who Karen McFarland is? No, probably not. There you go, we've won. <laughs> Chef John won't care about Carol McFarland. I'll have to not worry about his 20 hour recipe. Who would like to do a 20 hour recipe? No. There, you have to be much more appreciative of the price now that you pay, you're spending M&S for it. Is it, on, is it on quite low? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. Or is it gonna heat your whole house up? There we go, so let's just start. We've done all them now. Oops. My back is killing me. Ooh. After, after I've just Googled it, Shelley's just said, yeah, it takes about 12 hours to cook. Yeah, Shelley, you've got to say, that's a bit quicker. <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. No. I'm not. So have you enjoyed this live, guys? Just a little bit of fun, isn't it? Sticky stuff, this, isn't it? So, what we'll do is that. So, it would be better if you did it with white paste. I don't know why I didn't do it with white paste in the first place. <laughs> It's what you have to handle, it? it's just... Brain freeze. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, do it with white face, not green. Right, so let's get those out of the way a minute. Oh, 
Right, just need a little bit of glue now. I'm gonna have to sit down again, my back's gone. Right, where's my pearls? Oh, dear me. So it always looks nice when you bling them up a little bit as well. So we do sell the fractal glue, but you can use any glue. So we sell uh, sugar flare glue, rainbow dust glue, um, cake star glue, um, all those you need a little brush. Fractal one here. Um, I've got fractal colours coming back in. Uh, some will arrive by Friday. Some will take a little bit longer because it's like I said to you yesterday, they're coming from Hungary. But I spoke to the rep after the live yesterday and he's actually got some stock, so he's gonna let me have his stock, which is good. And then some will come from Hungary, and unfortunately, it's the airbrush colors. Oh, my flowers fell off. Put my flower back on. Oh, I have to stand up. Oh, stop walking about. Okay, there. Just a bit more forward, Carol. Yeah, sorry. So I've just tried to do them all a little bit different. I hope you like them, anyhow. You know, they look really lovely if you do them in just grey or cream or just like a, a burgundy and cream is really nice. The eucalyptus is a lovely colour to do. Um, if you try and do, um, if you try and use a dark blue, but just a tiny little bit of it to get like a Cornish blue effect. So all I'm doing is just dropping in a little bit of glue in each of them in the centre. There we go. Just makes them a bit different. As soon as you put the pearl on, it finishes it off, doesn't it? What's that, Karen? Are you still with us, love? Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just debating whether to do Debbie recipe. Oh, right. <laughs> Found another one that does it in a slow cooker for three to four hours. Then so you're going to say three to four days? No, three to four hours, and in the fridge overnight. But for 600 mils of the double cream, you only end up with 100 gram of clotted cream. Oh, God. It makes it expensive. That's why like buttercream is expensive. Well, now we all know why buttercream is expensive. We'll have yes. to start looking at it in a different light instead yeah. of thinking we're being ripped off. Yeah. We need to just start looking at it in a different light, don't we? If it's 100 gram of clotted cream, I'd be fighting you for it, Carol, for my skull. Well, listen, I won't be sharing it again. <laughs> when that John asked me for a bit of clotted cream, bog off, get your own. <laughs> Think. They're easy they enough, aren't they? Look beautiful. They're lucky. They're easy enough, aren't they? I mean, we're only we're only at beginners level here, but let me just clean up all my bits and bobs. Yeah, but they're, they're still they're still very very attractive. Yeah, we're only at beginners level, but it's a nice little start, isn't it, everyone? So um, if anybody, let me just clean my board. Let me get rid of all my rubbish. So have I got a clean cloth, Karen? Yes. Yep, that's it. Right. So let's clean my board up. Super duper. Thank you. Get rid of that. And then what we're going to do then is we're going to finish off our rainbow cakes. Very quickly. Very quickly. We're on uh, over two hours now. No way. Got 20 minutes. Oh my till, God. Uh, right. Till, okay. Till, till, um, till we go live again. Oh, we we've got to give them more time to have a wee, haven't we? So <laughs> let's get this lot out of the way. I love it though. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone been moaning about staying here or you all been happy? <laughs> they said we're brightening the day up. Yeah. yeah. So for anybody that's uh, got a cupboard full of Karen Davis moulds and they don't know what to do, <laughs> do with them, them. Now you know. Karen Davis is going to be on in 20 minutes showing oh, you how yes. to use her Karen Davis moulds. <laughs> is that who's on today? Yes. So if you wonder, if some of you are not sure what's happening is we're actually doing, um, we're calling them flashbacks and basically they're old Facebook lives. It is funny, I do watch you all joining in and asking a question. I don't watch all the flashback, but I just keep popping in and out, see you asking questions. I just keep putting a message up, this was three years ago. So. <laughs> well, people can still 
answer the questions yeah, for you, and can't some, you? Yeah, and not, not all the products are still available either, unfortunately. But it's good to look and learn. And you know what, from learning from what, learning even just watching Karen Davis today, even if we don't stock that mould, or mind you, I'd be surprised if we don't because we stock most of them. But, um, you know, it's, it's a great way to learn how to use them. So, uh, so good, right. So we've got them there. Do they look all right there? Do you think I should luster that one up, actually? Where's my luster there? Oof. Let's just brush it up a little bit, put a little bit more of a shine on it. So I'll put a little bit more of a shine on this. Shine, like you see that shine there. Yeah, looks good. That, yeah, just add a little bit more. So, you could put flowers on there, you don't have to just leave it like that. Um, what I did on this one before, um, painted it, let me just quickly paint this one. Um, Karen, have we got that buttercream ready? Yes, it's all ready. great. So, let me do my unicorn cakes now because uh, we can muck about with these afterwards. So let's move them. So, I hope you like them. So, just a little bit into vintage cupcakes. So, um like I say, I'm learning myself, and as I learn, I'll teach you. <laughs> right, so yesterday we did unicorn cupcakes, didn't we, in the unicorn cake. Well, the cake's gone to a good home. The boys had the cake down the warehouse. Actually, I've not asked Laura, did they like it? Laura, let us know, did the boys like it? Uh, we made carrot cake yesterday. What do they think of your carrot cake as well? My son has at three quarters of it. Oh, oh hey. He likes cake, your lad, doesn't he? He certainly does, and yet, you wouldn't want to look at him. He's, he's big and muscly, you know, doing the gym. Yeah. But he said it, he said he loved it. Right. So, um, so uh, we're just getting the buttercream here ready. Just okay. give it a quick, uh, the pig so, one's done. That so, one's done. Um, when, we did the, when we did the cupcakes yesterday, I actually overfilled mine. And somebody did say, if you put too much in, but I was obviously really very giddy. Now, Karen got hers fairly perfect, but she said I was what? Stingy. I was stingy. She said what I gave her left, there wasn't left, so hers were not overfilled. But as you can see, go to the overhead, Simon. Yeah. So as you can see, the colour doesn't look great there, does it? Because that's the bake. But once you take it out of the case, look how lovely that is there. So look, orange, green, blue, pink. Look, there's the purple coming through. See the purple? Am I under there? Yeah, you oh. Yeah. Aren't they bright and vibrant, aren't they? Kids will just love them. So like I say, from the top, they don't look great, but once you cut in, then they're great. So let's just move that over there. Who's gonna give them a go? So we've colored up our, we've colored up, our, we've colored up some buttercream. So we've got orange, green, and pink. We've got pink, orange, green, and blue. There we go. We've got a piping bag. So mine were overfilled, so I'll show you what to do when you overfill cupcake cases, because they didn't particularly look great. Karen was laughing her head off yesterday <laughs> and she saw them in the oven. So uh, from the overhead, we're on the overhead here. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna lay this just like we did with the cake. We're just gonna put blobs of this in, okay? So we're gonna put a blob in there. We're gonna put a blob down there. Let's just get the orange. Blob there and a blue. And there's the blue right in the middle. Yeah, and we're going to get our cake. Let me get this off here. Oops, oh, easy. I'll tell you, when we do the lives, are we on this front camera? Yeah. You will not believe how much mess we can make in here. So um, let's just see what comes out of here first. So over the top, Simon. So I'm not sure whether you'll see my whole hand. I might have to go to that camera in a minute, but we'll just see what you can see here. So we're just gonna swirl it round. Oh, that looks good, yeah. And we're down. Let me get this bowl out of the way. So I can pop, pop those out of the way, just a minute. So we haven't lined the bag. 
we haven't lined the bag all we've done is drop the color in the bag and all the colors are going to come out different so let's do a few of them so look at that i mean it looks a grotty green but you know let's cover it with the buttercream and then when they cut into it they'll see the most amazing colors Oh, this is your rose swell. So my bag's going to run out, so I'm going to show you how to fill it again. So the orange hasn't come through yet. Just You can actually just see the orange there. Can you just see on the orange? Yeah, can you see it's it really there? good, yeah. So it's just okay. gone in. So, uh, so what we'll do is we'll open the bag again now. And we'll put orange in first. We'll get a nice big blob of orange first. And then we'll get a pink. So we'll just put it in. We're not going around the sides of the bag because so we're just dropping it in. Okay. Um, what colour what colour was there? So it's a blue, isn't there? Yeah, more like a blue. So we'll just pop the blue in there. There we go. Thank you very much. So, um, so my cakes overfilled the bag, yeah? So I had to do a little bit of work on these to save them. So I'll show you what I did because I saved one. So let's do the rows. So my roses have to be a bit bigger. And then we're just gonna, again, so you can just see how the color comes out, look. Each one's different every time, isn't it? There we go. So mine, Simon, mine overhung like this. <laughs> <laughs> Karen was wetting herself laughing. <laughs> Going, well, mine look all right. So I had to dot to mine. So anyhow, when you have to dot to them, okay, you need one of these, right? So um, can you see on the overhead there, Simon? Yeah. yeah, can you see that? Yeah. So what you have to do then is you have to get your cutter and then you just press it and cut it down. Cut it off. Sorry, I've cut it far enough. I was trying to be gentle on my pink board. I was doing these on my chopping board. And then you break it off, and then you up here, Simon. <laughs> you up here. So you see. You look these. like you're just about to pop that in your mouth. I am. I am. This is why I'm never going to be slim. I never eat a cake. I eat all the bloody rubbish after it. That's what I do. I end up eating all the bits. So rose again, so can they see what I'm doing with this rose? Yes, perfect, yeah. Isn't it lovely, all the colours? So you know we made all these flowers now, so what we'll do is we'll stick a little flower there. They look super. Yeah. We'll stick a little flower there. Let's get another little flower. Even I'm impressed with them. <laughs> You're more impressed with these than you are with our vintage cupcake, Simon. <laughs> What are you doing to me? So this one, we've only got small ones here, so we'll do three little small ones. Yeah. I'm going to put some pearls in these in a minute. So this one can have a little bow on. It's got a little bow. And then what can we do there? So this one can have another little flower there. Yeah. So what we'll do now is, where's the glue? So this was yesterday's cupcakes just being finished and like I say I overfilled my cups so we're just going to pop a little bit of glue in there. I'm going to get a little ball. So you're loving these. Nice to see them isn't it? So we'll push that in. Oh dear me. Did they not know about that? How many of you overfilled your cupcake cases? Seriously, it's, it's fine. They look great afterwards. Well, Dennis said she wished she'd thought of that the other day. Oh, is that what she did? She overfilled the red velvet ones, but the cream treat, you know, the, the frosting, that, yeah. that, that hit, hit a lot. Listen, 
you know who you like, you know I'm always winging it, don't you? You know, I'm always, I've always said this. I'm, I'm very much, you know what, I want to give it a go. And that's what these lives are about because we all have to start in the kitchen, don't we? So you buy your recipe book, you buy your tools and you're now stuck in the kitchen by yourself. Well, now you have the pleasure of me stuck in the kitchen with you giving it a go. That's what it's about. <laughs> so it's not about the professionalism. It's about we're going to make it look all right, okay? Not only is it going to look all right, it's going to look better than all right. But, you know, sometimes we just have to learn a few tricks. So we have to learn a few tricks where we don't waste stuff. So I didn't want to waste it. I mean, Karen was laughing her heads off. She said, I don't know about yours, but mine look great. I mean, that's great, isn't it? Really encouraging. I don't know about yours, but mine look great. So that's what I got yesterday. So that's what I got yesterday. So I thought, right, the birds are not having these. I'm going to save them. So uh, anyhow. So there we go. So we're all we're all done there, aren't we? So we're just going to put a little bit of hundreds and thousands on. Sometimes I have to learn to stay away and say. They look like they say they look like lovely hydrangea uh, colours and. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, the kids really like them, nice, don't they? Absolutely. I mean, I probably wouldn't give these to kids before they went to bed because they might end up staying up a bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> they're great and I think they're great for kids birthday parties and things like that aren't they send them home with somebody else's kid <laughs> when we can have birthday parties again right okay then so that's us over and done with how long have you got now so you've got nine minutes to go and have a wee have a cup of tea and be sat down at two o'clock <laughs> to watch our flashback back with Karen Davies so I hope you've enjoyed today's live please leave some comments please put some love hearts up and everything's very important don't forget to pop over. You've got, you've got nothing else to do. You sat at home. Come on, all of you. You're all locked in, staying at home, behaving yourself. So get over to it, um, YouTube there. Subscribe to our channel. Give us some thumbs up. Go through all the videos. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Yes, I like it. Just watch 10 seconds. That'd be great. Uh, pop some comments. What else do we want them to do? Oh, join the Cupcake Bouquet class. So if you go onto Facebook now, but you can, I'll only let you in once you're paid. So it's called Carol's Cupcake Bouquet class. Okay, and then I'll get John to send out an email this week as well, weekend as well with the link. Um, so I don't know how to do a hidden payment thing on the on the website. Um, so I might have to just put it up as a class. Well, it doesn't need to be a hidden payment thing, does no, it? It's a class you can put it's up a as link. a class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll put it up as a link on the classes so you can join that way as well over the weekend. But I need to put in all the bump first before you join. Okay. So I hope you've had a great time. Simon, have you cheered up more? <laughs> Go on, then. Go on. Give it up, Simon. Give it up. Right. <laughs> Lovely having you in the kitchen, Karen. Loving it. We're going to go and have a cup of tea now. Oh, that would be nice. And we'll yes. see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock when I'm making scones. See you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.